All right. I really hope that everything goes well. <laughs> Hi, everybody. <laughs> Welcome everybody to the stream. Um, and that I'm I'm just here trying to make sure everything doesn't blow up today. So far, so good. So far. <laughs> Hi, everybody. <laughs> good morning. Yeah, the sunroom is back, and this is Elliot's Elliot the cat, his chair, which he has claimed a lot of times in like the less than twenty four hours that I've been here. So Elliot will come visit us on the chair. Yeah, Elliot will Elliot definitely will be here. Don't you worry. Elliot is um like he loves us so much. It is crazy. We are. Yeah, we're back here. <laughs> my setup is a little bit different. So I'm hoping it uh, doesn't affect my stream too much in terms of like I only have two monitors as opposed to three. So I'm kind of just like working it out a little bit, but it seems like everything is good. Oh, I'm dropping frames already. Oh, no. <laughs> so, yeah, the Internet is not that fantastic here. Uh, um, there's not much that I can do about it. So uh, if there is dropped frames here and there, I could do like a oh like it's doing it right now actually. I can I can reset my router every now and then for streams, but I don't know if I could do more than that. Oh god, yeah, I'm really dropping a lot. Oh no, oh no, oh no. <laughs> oh no, it's a disaster. Let me see. Hi everybody. Hello, hello. I might have to restart already. I'm going to I'm just going to let this play out and see what just happens. <clears throat> oh, Dynasty, you got an annoying sunburn? Ooh, where? I have to know where. Cuz yeah, sunburns can be such a bitch especially if in they're like the worst spot. Oh, oh, oh. I once I think the worst one I ever had was whenever I was um I accidentally laid out in the sun in Florida. This was like years and years ago. But somehow my armpit got sunburned. I guess my arms were up. My armpit got got sunburned. And uh, that hurt so fucking bad. <laughs> oh my god. I know, this place is beautiful. I love I love this room so much. And it's a sunroom, so all of this light is uh, it's natural lighting. I don't I didn't even bring my key light. So I just solely rely on natural light for these streams. Which means the lighting is gonna be inconsistent because whenever the sun is out, the clouds are out, it's it's gonna be all over the place, but generally it should be should be better. <clears throat> Yeah, armpit sunburn. It was awful. <laughs> it was really, really bad. <clears throat> right on the neck, I have to wear a lanyard with a security badge at work all day and it keeps rubbing- Oh, no, that sounds awful. Oh, jeez. I hate it. Ugh. I think- yeah, because, like, most of my swimsuits that I have are, like, halter tops, so they wrap around the neck. And, yeah, so whenever you get a sunburn and then you wear your swimsuit the next day, or the next time you wear it, yeah, it hurts so bad. Just gotta avoid halter tops. Oh, hi, friends. It's so good to see you. I hope you guys had a really good weekend. I managed to finish my um, FF7 dance edit, but it has to go through a lot of... Uh, like revisions, color correction, so and and special effects. So I don't even know if it'll be released this weekend, but I'm hoping this weekend or next weekend. We'll see. A wild Dom in the mirror, yeah. In this screen, yeah, you'll probably see Dom in the background a, a, quite a bit. He's getting his setup all done. The worst you've had is behind your leg, and I've had to uh, had to all day the next day. Oh, dude. Um, yeah, behind your knee. Behind your knee really hurts. I hate it. <laughs> Ugh. I'm not gonna get sidetracked. 
I just got back to Kamurocho, yes. But there's nothing to do in Kamurocho. Like, I have nothing to do with Ichiban in Kamurocho, so... I, I feel like I shouldn't get sidetracked. We should actually get through chapter 13 today. This is a very large chapter. Oh, the stream rolls. I didn't pin them. Let me, let me grab the, the, yeah, let me grab that. Okay, there you go. I got you. Prawn, thank you so much for the 11 month resub. I really appreciate it. Thank you. <clears throat> It's so hard to read that. Trying different stuff here. Oh my god, I have a lot of dropped frames. I'm so sorry in advance, guys. I don't know how much you guys notice it on stream right now, but you'll probably notice it more whenever I start playing games. Ugh. Right now we're at like 4,000 dropped frames in five minutes. That's really not <clears throat> oh my god, if more sub-stories pop up in Kamurocho, I might cry. I'm so ready to beat this game. Also, we have to beat this game. I think I have three days. So Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then FF Rebirth comes out on Thursday. Like, I have to beat this game in three more stream days. That's all we get. I'm on the last chapter of Final Fantasy VII Remake. I'm so excited to join along for the Rebirth hype train. I know, I'm so excited for Rebirth. I have three more streams, though. If I don't beat this game in three streams, then I'm kind of screwed. Like, I, I we've gotta beat, we've gotta beat Yakuza right now. My gosh, thank you for the hundred bits. That's Salty! I'm just huge. Thank you for becoming a member, I really appreciate that. Thank you. <clears throat> I know, there's a lot of games coming out. It's bad. But yeah, Rebirth will come out, and then we're actually gonna play Unicorn Overlord at the same time as Rebirth. So we'll have like one week before the before Unicorn Overlord launches though, so. And then at that time we'll have a dual schedule of like Unicorn Overlord three days a week, and then FF Rebirth, uh, or yeah, Rebirth play, uh, two days a week, three days a week. I have to figure While out that Crystal schedule still, but they'll frames, be Why don't you all drop a follow? Or drop a subscription. <laughs> Pog, get rid of ads and access to this emote. Chris, a high bowser. No, thank you so much for the hundred bits, Tiana. I appreciate it. Yeah, P3 reload. I'm glad I didn't try to crunch that in this time frame. So we'll we'll do P3 reload in April, and it's gonna have to be that way. I also forgot that there's a month that I'm I'm not streaming in March because I'm gonna be at PAX East. So, because I'm going to PAX East this year, there'll be a week of no streams. Yay! <laughs> oh, and uh, the, that means the FF16 DLC is probably going to be released in, like, April, May. So I also gotta, like, fit that in somewhere. It should be short, though. <clears throat> mm-hmm. I am really excited for Unicorn Overlord because everybody that has played the demo so far, nobody has said anything bad. Like, everyone is so excited to just, like, dig into more of this game, and that's exactly what I want to hear. So I'm, I'm just really excited that it has, like, such positive reception just from the demo. That's not an emblem thing. I'm just huge. Aw, Rosdeck, thank you so much for becoming a member on YouTube. I really appreciate that. I actually think we have enough members on YouTube now for me to upload a couple more emotes. Uh, because, yeah, it's uh, how many emotes I can give you guys on that channel is based on memberships. So after this stream, let me write it down. After this stream, I'll upload more emotes for you guys. I have my uh, checkbook over here. My checklist book. It's not a checkbook. Do checkbooks even- do people even use checkbooks anymore? Is that even a thing? <clears throat> Vanilla we're cooking? Oh my god, I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm literally so excited for this game. Unicorn Overlord. Because like, Fire Emblem games have been like, kind of meh. The past couple of years. I, like, I didn't- uh, like, Engage was great gameplay, but like, I really want a good story too. So, man. It just, uh... Yeah, it's nice. I I'm looking forward to Unicorn Overlord having like both good gameplay and good story. And hopefully 
Fire Emblem takes a fucking hint on how to make a good story and good gameplay at the same time. Ugh. I know Twitch went all in on animated emotes. I still have to work on animated emotes for you guys. My god. I have to work on that. <clears throat> Yeah, I've heard the Unicorn Overlord demo is very large. Like, most people that I've heard have spent, like, seven hours on, on the demo itself, which is kind of crazy. <clears throat> it doesn't have a PC port. It definitely will get ported. Yeah, for sure. Like, uh, I know it's, it's a Switch exclusive, Unicorn Overlord? Wait... Is it wait? Is it a Switch exclusive? No, no, no. Wait, it's coming out on PS5. I'm probably gonna get it on PS5. Yeah. Oops. Okay. No, no, we're good. It's on all consoles except for Steam, so it'll get ported to Steam later. I'm, I'm sure. Okay, I need to write down um, YouTube membership emotes, emote upload. So you guys can have more fun with emotes over there. <clears throat> I'm afraid to put anything on my Switch anymore, to be honest. I think I'll play it on my PS5 if I get a choice. Same. Hmm. <clears throat> Yeah, there are a few Fire Emblem games where the, both the story and the battling, like the, yeah, oh my god, the, the gameplay is actually good, but it's so very few games. Like, the only ones that I can say that do good on both ends is um, Awakening. I would say Sacred Stones. It's not, like, an amazing game, but, like, it's, it's, a, it's good in both parts, I think. Um... Path of Radiance, Radiant Dawn, and that's it. So of all the Fire Emblem games, I would only say those ones do a good job of like actual game, good gameplay and good story at the same time. It's it's a bad track record though, because there's like, what, 13, 14 Fire Emblem games? It's kind of sad. I try to care about the YouTube folks. I'm actually, it's actually been really nice to stream on YouTube. I'm genuinely surprised at especially the amount of people that watch me on YouTube. I'm like, I, I, I don't really look at my viewership that often, but to see my viewership on YouTube actually do really decent su surprises me. But I'm glad, I'm glad that it, there's like more options for people to watch the stream with. So I try to, I'll try to cater to everybody. <clears throat> no, we don't know why this game is called Infinite Wealth yet. Probably because of Abina and Yakuza and uh, whatever they're doing. I don't know. We'll see. I don't know if it actually means anything, though. Holy shit, we're in a different room. Yeah, holy shit. <laughs> we are, yeah. And I have, by the way, I have vast, two vastly different monitors right now. Um, one has a lot more cooler tones and, I, and the other one has a lot more warmer tones. So I have no idea really if my camera looks good. I'm just really hoping. <laughs> I have, my monitors are not the greatest color quality, so I, I don't know. <clears throat> oh, don't worry. You can praise Alan without him being here. Trust me. He will, he will see it. I am dropping more frames. I'm so sorry. There, uh... Lots of frame dropping. You look cooler than usual color temp-wise, but really good. Okay. 
There's not much I can do about it because it's generally like really um, like w uh, cooler toned colors outside. Like there's snow on the ground and the light from the sun is bouncing off of the snow, which tends to give off a cooler light. But this is all natural light. I don't have any other. I, I literally didn't bring like a key light and an umbrella light. I'm relying on natural light while I'm here because <laughs> I really like how it looks. <clears throat> My personal favorite Yakuza game is still Zero. I, it, nothing tops Zero. Seven comes close, and I definitely, I, I do enjoy Seven so far more than Eight. I I'm will here say to that. praise Alan Messi. We'll see. The ending of Eight could surprise me, but right now I still like the flow, um, the overall story of Seven, more than I do Eight. But yeah, Zero is just really special. Nothing is, uh, Seven was the only game that I played that I felt like could come close to Zero. <clears throat> oh, Ponto, thank you so much for the 11 months, dude. I really appreciate it. Okay, my internet stabled again. So it seems like whenever we drop frames, I'm just gonna give you guys a heads up. Maybe we can make a command for it. But if you guys see my stream dropping frames, anything like that, it'll get better naturally. It'll, the internet will stabilize itself, but I would recommend refreshing the stream so that you don't have a huge lag because whenever I drop frames, you guys end up being like a little bit further behind in seconds to like the real live stream time. So I would recommend refreshing your stream like, I don't know, every like 30 minutes or so to make sure you're not terribly far behind. It'll be like this for like the next two weeks. So just a, just a heads up. Uh, Tilted Shot, thank you so much for the five-month resub. I really appreciate it. Thank you for the prime. <clears throat> oh, I missed what Alan said. The weekend hasn't been relaxing? Oh my gosh. It, do I need to beat up somebody? Like, if you need me to beat somebody up, I'll do that. Absolutely. I really like the natural light a lot. I'm, I'm planning to film a lot of YouTube videos while I'm while I'm in this space. And we're only here for two weeks, so uh, yeah, I want to make sure I can film as much as I can in this pretty space. <clears throat> I do need to do a Yakuza tier list. I can't believe I haven't done that yet. I should film that video while I'm here too. Because it was last year that I did a Persona tier list in this space. So I think I should do a Yakuza one now. You're right, I should do that. <laughs> yep, yep, the, the Mona Kigus, I still have like 15 left, I think. As soon as they're gone, though, I'm never selling them again, though, so I still have 15 as of right now. It's around 15. It might be, like, 17 or 18, but yeah. They are limited stock. I wish I could beat up somebody, but I can't. But can I beat them up for you? Like, if does that help? And then you're not affiliated. Like, it has nothing to do with you if I do it for you. Just let me know. Like, I can make some calls. I got no problem with that. <clears throat> uh, unpopular opinion in uh, op oh opinion. Kiwami is better than Zero, and I feel like Zero undervalued Kiryu to a lot of people. Ooh, I never thought about that. Let me think about that. Cause like, I think uh, I think the perspective changes a lot if you played Kiwami first, and then you played Zero after. Or if you played Zero first and then Kiwami, because I think, I don't think many people would agree if Zero was your first game and you didn't already know Kiryu. But if you already knew Kiryu, of course it's a downgrade because you're, you're, they're splitting time with Kiryu and they're splitting time with Majima. Like the point is to give that origin story. But I think I would still agree, disagree even if I played Kiwami first. Um, I don't know, like, for me, 
Zero was such a great introduction to Kiryu's character in combination with Majima too, but it really says so much about him. I mean, you get you get a lot of his past, you get a lot about how he is, how he got involved in the Tojo clan, what he did for the Tojo clan. Like you you get you get so much out of the, that game for Kiryu that I don't see it that way, but I do think the perspective is very different depending on what games you played first in this franchise. So I can understand that. <clears throat> Crystal the secret Yakuza. I will do whatever. I will do whatever it takes. I started with seven and zero felt weird at first, but it was a fantastic experience. I'm really glad to hear that. Man, I, I love hearing where people started off in the Yakuza franchise. I feel like most people start with zero, which I think is like the best way to experience it. But yeah, it's like if you start with seven and then you go back to zero, that's got to be an experience. It's very different, even in terms of gameplay. Like seven was such a difference in gameplay compared to like, you know, Yakuza zero through six. Infinite Wealth was particularly special to me. I feel like I feel the same about this game that a lot of people feel about Zero. Oh, that's actually really cool. So far, I don't have that feeling. It's a, I'm enjoying Infinite Wealth so much. It's a fantastic game, but it doesn't give me that, that same feeling. Really, I still, like I said before, I still am enjoying Seven, the ride and the journey of Seven more than this game so far. Quick question, who here wants a Akiyama Gaiden game since he returned? Yeah, I mean, we talked about that whenever he came back in that stream. Yeah, I would love, like, because we talked about that back then. So, um, it'd be cool to have a uh, Akiyama side game based off of where he's been the past four years and what he's done. What order do you think Yakuza should be enjoyed? In order. So, like, going from zero to... <laughs> oh, are they leaving? Hold on, I'll be right back. They're leaving, so I want to... I'll be right back, guys. Alright, alright, I'm back. Wait, am I back? Wait, this is weird. Wait, okay, yeah, no, my mic, okay. This scene is a little bit different than normal. <laughs> alright, we're good. I'm back, sorry about that. <clears throat> Sarah Gaiden? Dude! Okay, we haven't finished Infinite Wealth yet. But the fact that Sarah has never been brought up, even through all of like the reminiscing things that Kiryu had, he is remembering all of these obscure characters from past games. Everybody except Sarah. I'm like actually sad. I'm like actually sad that he hasn't been brought up at all, like nothing, not even a reminiscing. It is sad. <sighs> oh. 
I'm not used to the back, the bright background. I know, I'm so sorry. But yeah, I'm literally in a sunroom. So it is designed for light, natural light. That is, that is what this room is. Be sad. Alan, that's so toxic. <clears throat> Seven is a special game to me because not only did it start my Yakuza journey, but also found me at a perfect time in my life when I needed some time to distract. I see. So yeah, the timing that you play something can definitely have a big, big impact too. Sarah is the main character of Yakuza 9. True statement. Yeah, I've heard. You know what? The producer told me that himself directly. That's tr it's true. <laughs> BDSF guy. <laughs> oh my god. My. The, okay. It's really hard to control the lighting because it's just based off of the sun, right? So whenever it's really bright outside and there's no clouds in the sky, I'm getting like washed out and there's like, I, I can adjust the blinds. Like that's how my lighting is right now is just adjusting the blinds up and down on all the windows in here. But um, yeah, it's, it's really hard to constantly control. So I'm sorry if I just like look like a vampire. I, I don't know. <laughs> <clears throat> Your favorite is Dead Souls? Are you, like, actually serious? I can't tell. <clears throat> Hello from France. We love your videos with my wife, and thank you for your great Let's Play. Oh, thank you so much, Azir. That's so sweet. <laughs> Oh, that English is better than my English. That's not an emblem. My thing. goodness. I'm just huge. Jakington, thank you so much for gifting us up to the community. I really appreciate that. Thank you. What if I am? Wait, you are serious? No, you're not. Dead Souls is not your favorite Yakuza game. You, you're, you're not serious about that. You're not at all. I feel like you shouldn't have a sitting table with a tea party behind me. <laughs> I probably could. They have a lot of really fancy china. I could just whip out their like fancy teacups that they have. And just have a little tea party. Oh. If you ever became a Yakuza or like a dragon character, who would you want to be like? Sarah. I want to be like Sarah. Just kidding. No, I want to be like Akiyama. Because nobody acts like that whenever they have a lot of money. I don't... It's, it's, it's rare to find a person that doesn't go ape shit fucking capitalism crazy shit with your money. <laughs> You're, uh... He's, uh, definitely special in that regard. How he chooses to spend his riches. Is very interesting. I'd like to be as chill as Zhao. Zhao's a little bit scared. I don't know if I want to be like Zhao. <laughs> he's great. <laughs> But I don't know if I want to be like him. That's not an emblem thing. I'm just here. AJ, thank you so much for the prime sub, dude. I really appreciate that. Thank you. Is this the place with Elliot? It is the place with Elliot. I could go find Elliot. I don't know where he's at right now. Elliot follows me around everywhere. He's probably sleeping on a chair somewhere, but this is his chair. Like, this chair is literally here for Elliot, because <laughs> he loves this chair, and he loves being with me. <laughs> I can go find the kitty. 
If you give me a moment, I can I can go find the kitty. Okay, okay. He is following me. He did follow me. I don't need to pick him up. He just kind of like, he just always walks with me. The cat crystal clap. Oh, hail the cat. <laughs> Anka, thank you for the 12 months. I appreciate it. Seriously, I don't need to do anything. Like, this cat loves me and Dom so much. So I just need to, like, call him and he'll just follow me. <laughs> I don't know if that's a good or bad thing, but he does follow. There he is. Yeah? You want to say hi to your audience? You have a lot of fans, buddy. You have a lot of fans. You gotta say hi to your fans, no? <laughs> uh, Elliot is adorable. So for those of you that weren't here last year whenever I was here, this is Elliot the cat. And Elliot is very cute. <laughs> He's just... I don't know what he's doing, but there you go. Hi, buddy. Oh, hi, buddy. Yeah. <laughs> he's so cute. Oh, he's just laying now, right behind me. <laughs> he just likes being around me that's like yeah, I don't know I'm like super the light is very bright I'm sorry I'll move aside so you guys can have your cat cam yeah buddy hey Elliot you wanna look this way say hi to your fans okay he looked like a little bit toward you guys like if you got like a tiny a, a tiny look. <laughs> mm. 
<laughs> Maybe Elliot is a secret Yakuza? Whoa, okay. I don't know, the thing is like, uh, I think Elliot only knows his name whenever I talk to him. He's a French cat, right? So I think he only knows like French phrases and stuff. So every time, <laughs> I, I'm glad that he follows me because I don't really know how to like command him otherwise. <laughs> I don't know French. <laughs> He's lying so gracefully, isn't he? He's just like a... No, he'll just take over my stream, probably, for the next two weeks. Just a lot of... He, 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 you'll have a lot of Elliot. <laughs> now that Elliot's here, you can start the stream? Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, I can, I can start my stream now? Am I allowed to now? Yeah, buddy. I think he's happy. He just likes being with people. He's like a very people, people person type of cat. People cat. People cat? <laughs> oh, there's a, there's a ladybug buzzing and he uh, immediately went to the ladybug. He is now playing with a ladybug. You get him. You get him, Elliot. Yeah, you got him. Oh, don't eat it. Oh, he ate it. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> he ate the ladybug just straight up. He was, like, playing with it for a bit, and then he just... He went all in. Okay. Well, that happened. <laughs> You've seen your cat eat bugs? Normally I would expect him to play with- Oh, Elliot, no! Elliot! He hates us! He's leaving! Hi, Elliot! Okay, the stream's over. It's over. <sighs> Understandable, have a good day. He'll be back, I'm sure. He's going for a bit of water, the ladybug was too dry. Probably true. You know what? That that might be true. He just ate a bug. He has to like, you know, drink some water to cleanse his palate. I don't know what to say. <laughs> so anyway, we're here for the next two weeks. Uh, you'll have a lot of Elliot time for two weeks. And you'll also have a lot of dropped frames uh, for two weeks because the internet here is not stable. Um, <laughs> so, um, just a reminder to refresh your stream every now and then. Like right now, we're dropping frames. <laughs> Thanks for the stream. See you tomorrow. No! Don't do this to me. Uh, it's not terrible, but yeah, I think before I start stream every day, I will just reset the router to try to give it the best chance of uh, being stable, but it's not a fiber line, so the internet is reliant on, like, you know, having good weather, whether a lot of people are using the internet at one time, like, it's, it's, it's a very iffy connection. <laughs> <clears throat> Yeah, this is Starlink internet. They they hate Elon here. They they literally hate his internet. It's shit. <laughs> so bad. <clears throat> 
Elliot walked away and my frames started dropping, I think there is no coincidence there. I think that the, I think that the stream is also biased to having Elliot around. That's got to be it. I hope the internet goes smooth once it's into gameplay. What I'll try to do is um, whenever I am playing the game. OK, it finally stabilized. That took a while. Um, whenever I play the game, I'll make sure to keep an eye on the uh, on the internet. And if it's like not stable, I'll like, you know, try to play it slow just so you guys don't have like moments ruined. Oh my God, I'm dropping again. <laughs> What I could do is I could restart the router right now, but I honestly don't think that's going to help much. I just kind of have to make sure that uh, Dom isn't using a lot of the internet while I am. That's the only thing that we can really hope for. Hello from Japan. Hello, Day Games. Welcome. <clears throat> Elliot is the router. Oh, so if I get Elliot to come over here... I see what you guys are saying. I see what you guys are saying. Yeah, I do like the natural lighting too. It's so nice. Although right now I, I feel like the sun. <laughs> uh. Are you sure it's been smooth for you? I have 24,000 dropped frames since I've been live, which is a lot. Um, <laughs> that's a lot of dropped frames. If it runs, it's, yeah, well, I'll try not to have it uh, bring down the stream too much here, but what I could do, this is going to be kind of silly. I'm just going to change my bitrate for a second. It might, let me see if it gets upset. I'm trying something. <laughs> All right, we'll just try this. <clears throat> All right, are we ready for gameplay though? Because I think it's time. <laughs> we are in chapter 13 right now and we're in Kamarocho. I don't know if we're ever gonna go back to Hawaii at this point. I feel like we have to go back to Hawaii at some point because of uh, Nele Island. Wait, I just realized, how did Ichiban fly? He never got a passport back. Huh. I, that's weird. <laughs> All right, let's do this. Yeah, we are in chapter 13. We're uh, pretty, pretty far. Okay, let me make sure it'll, yeah, there, there's the game. Inconsistency spotted. Yeah, he shouldn't be able to travel without a passport. I know that they did like the special thing with the, um, or what's it called? Uh, the, 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 the Japanese Coast Guard or whatever, but you still, I'm pretty sure you still need a passport. Pretty sure. Didn't Yamai make a deal to get them in? Um, he made a deal to get them to the Japanese Coast Guard and then from there they go back to Japan, but I don't know if that cuts out the whole, like, passport thing or not. Oh, Date! That's right, he called in Date. But, like, I didn't know that Date could, like, break the rules like that. <laughs> okay, wow, the internet seems stable right now. You know what? Since the internet's stable, we're gonna jump right to plot. Also because I don't have anything else to do right now. Let me... My my audio is a bit low. Okay. We're not dropping any frames. I gotta go to plot. Let's go. Camaro hmm. number three. This is it, all right. Tabata family's been gone a long time. Doubt there's much left of their office Yo. inside. What about other tenants or neighbors? Uh, might be some other old-timers like Adachi who still remember mm -hmm. them. If we're lucky... Excuse me, I couldn't help it over here. You all a moment mm -hmm. ago? 
Keep moving, Gramps. We're busy. Sorry, it's just been a long time since anyone's mentioned the Tabata family around here. Wait, do you know them? The Tabata family? They went under decades past, but yes, I worked in this area back when they controlled it. Huh, that didn't take long. No kidding. So are the four of you looking for them? Uh, not exactly. They're matriarch, so to speak. Yui Tabata, do you know her? Matriarch Tabata? Goodness, that's another name I haven't heard in ages. Come on, give us some info, too. The fact that this guy is here at, like, the perfectly right time is so suspicious. <laughs> what are the odds that we run into this guy? <laughs> hmm. She was practically a local celebrity. Story goes, some, yo some young gun actually killed the patriarch to win her love. <laughs> what a poor young idiot he must have been. No one could have caged that canary. That's what led to the family's collapse, in fact. <sighs> it's too bad they were so good for business back so in the day. Where's Matriarch Tabata now? Oh, I have no way of knowing that. Last I heard, the boy who shot her husband fled overseas, and that was mm. all. Although, I do sometimes see a former Tabata member around. You could ask him. Mm. My best guess is that pachinko parlor on Nakamichi Street. I hear he lives for that stuff. What's he look like? Um, he's likely past his 60s. Still trots around in that old gangster top. Even has some dimwit lackeys. Not hard to miss. <sighs> I guess that'll have to do. We better find this guy before Yamai's trail gets colder. Let's okay. mosey. One thing, hey. I wouldn't hold on to old stories like that for so long. Time has a way of wearing down the truth in them. What? Hmm. What a weird fellow. That's an interesting thing for Ichiban to say. <clears throat> yeah. Well, good thing I have my segue here in Kamarocho. What would I do without it? Oh. All right, let's go. God damn it. I can do this. Let's get it done. I'm actually pretty surprised. Internet's okay. Internet's okay. Oh, that was so much damage. Sworn to defend his honor against street gossip. It's really cute. Because in this channel, we love Yamai. Yamai's killed a lot of people. Do we care? No. Why the fuck would I care if someone's a goddamn murderer? Hold on. We're having some stream hiccups, so I just want to make sure it stabilizes before I do plot. Okay. He also killed trees. Oh, that's true. He like burned down the forest. Oh, oh, you know what? That never happened. Let's just pretend that never happened. And then everything's fine. <laughs> this is the pachinko parlor. <laughs> Another bullshit slump. 60s gangster top, dimwit flunkies. I think we might have a bingo. Sup? Hey, excuse me, you have a second? Oh no. Me patiently waiting for internet to stabilize. Okay. <laughs> By any chance, were you ever with the Tabata family? Old man on Pink Street said, mm -hmm. uh, old man. Hey, I know what you mean. I know who you mean. So what's it to you? It's a long story, but right now it's pretty important. We find Yui Tabata-san, your old <gasps> matriarch. The matriarch? What the hell is this about? Sorry. I'm sorry, but there really is no time to explain. If you've got any idea where she is, could you tell us? Uh -huh. Don't treat me like some bum. You want information, but can't gotcha. say why? 
I get the feeling this guy's brick walling us. It's Yuka, Yutaka Yamai. He's back in Japan. Ooh. Yamai? And we think he has unfinished business with her. We're trying to find him, and the best way to do that is to reach yui -san. Where are you all, Yamai's new crew? In so many words. And he's really back in town, huh? See. Never thought I'd ha ever have to think about that piece of shit again. Ooh. Okay, but he's like our piece of shit, so... Bring the car around. We gotta get to Mas Masada Hospital. Yamai's a fucking dead man. <clears throat> I've been waiting a long time, so trust me. Leave Yamai to us. We're trying to get him to turn himself in. I'm sorry, but we owe him <gasps> that. Shit, what am I doing? Why do I- Why do I keep sticking up for Yamai? <laughs> Because he's the only reason we got Akane-san and Lane back to Japan safely. Come on! I got no idea who these people are, but not only did Yamai kill my boss, he sent our whole family Sir. under. Look at me! My life went straight into the gutter because of that prick. He doesn't deserve a goddamn scrap of mercy. Huh? Oh, please. It's been 30 years. If you seriously blame Yamai for all your failures since then, that's pathetic. Ooh! Even without a family, you can still make a life for yourself. Uh -huh. <laughs> Believe me, she knows what she's talking Ooh. about. Ooh, Chitose! Okay, okay, girl, I can get behind that. I can, I can actually get behind that. I can do this. <laughs> damn, girl. Like she's like, damn, bitch, you're really gonna have a grudge for a way too long of a time. <laughs> For 30 years? Okay, is there a... I think we haven't seen Kashiwagi yet. But it... Oh, oh, we haven't seen Asakura, have we? I think that's the only one we haven't seen. Oh, no, no, no. We didn't see Mameoka yet, either. Okay, we're gonna do Asakura. Meet the notorious street fighter who delivers 2,000 damage. Sometimes KOing enemies instantly. Please note, Poundmates is not liable for resultant hospital bills and or funeral funeral expenses. Doesn't cost a turn. I don't think I've ever held a grudge for more than a week. Here's the one. I the longest I held a grudge against somebody for was like three months. Delivery! And that was only one time, because some bitch really fucked up my life. <laughs> and it was really bad. Yeah. On it. But three months, that's the longest I've- and I'm not proud of that either. Oh, damn! Go get him, man. Damn. Don't you forget it. Oh, That's cute. <laughs> Who the heck is Kashiwagi? His name is Survive Bartender. Oh, sorry. Look at me go. Yeah, the Survive Bartender. Yeah, that guy. Think I'm getting better at this. Not Kashiwagi. Sir. If I were 30 years no. younger, we've been wasting each other's time, so I'll only ask once. Yui Tabata-san is at Masada Hospital. Is that what I heard you uh. say? Appreciate it. Now be smart and don't turn this into another grudge you keep for a lifetime. Stick to Pachinko. Woohoo! Yeah. Oh my god. Brutal. Hey, Out of the way! This road is for segways only. First name survive, second name bartender. It's true. Oh wait, I didn't need to go here. I could have just done this at any taxi. I'm an idiot. It's fine. I, my theory was always that it wasn't Kashiwagi, it was a twin brother. Look at Yamai.
So that means Yamai hasn't been back in Japan for like 30 years either. He's not going to do it. It's been a long time, Matriarch. Who's there? She like blind? You're mine. Yo, took you a while. <laughs> Yo, hi. You eat Tabata. That's her. You mine. What did you come here for? If you knew I'd be here, you obviously did your research. No. Mm. Revenge on an old lady in the hospital. Even for you, that's some selfish shit. That is true. Oof. Give me a sec. I'm gonna try to like adjust the lighting a little bit because it's like bright on. I don't know where it's bright. I'm just gonna try to. Just don't worry about it. It's fine. I got this. All right. I just took out a lot of light. I just closed a lot of the blinds. I feel like this is better. Now I'm not the son. <laughs> okay. You fell in love with her and killed her husband over it. I'd say you got your revenge a long time ago. All right. I've got no excuses. Oh, come on. Look me in my face. You're going to let me get away with that? You know something? You're a hard man to please, Tomizawa kun. <laughs> Alzheimer's disease. Woman's only 57. Oh, Alzheimer's. That's too okay. old to be called early onset. It's still too young. She doesn't even know who I am. <sighs> 30 years ago, she had everything a woman could want. She'd go on million yen shopping sprees, order champagne towers every night. We would bleed kill to make that money and she tossed it away like paper and i loved her for it i shouldn't have but i just fell further and further Aww. seems uncharacteristic for you tolerating all that maybe it's the uncharacteristic things about us that make us human the boss was willing to look past all her faults Except, having another man in the picture, and of all the men she could have, she chose his captain. The boss was always gonna find out. That's when she finally noticed this big, dumb lummox. She could tell at a glance I was crazy about her. She got me alone. She whispered to me. If the boss ever finds out about me and him, I'm dead. You have to kill him for me. Kids are stupid. Growing up is learning that jobs like that have no happy endings. Dang, young you Yamai, though. Anyway. I thought it was my only chance. I remember saying, anything for you. Who was that 20-year-old boy who used to think like He that. was 20 in that picture? The matriarch had a plan for it all. That night, I'd accompany her to the boss's office so she could talk to him. She would tell him about the captain. He would hit her. And I would kill him to save her from his rage. And she'd protect me from the police and the family. A good deal. So we went through with it. The moment she saw he was done breathing, she ripped her clothes and ran. 
Yamai killed the boss and came after me, she said. What the hell? She set you up? Picture perfect frame job. Huh. Have to hand it to her. The best Yakuza couldn't have done it better. <clears throat> <laughs> Had to go on the run after that. I only got to see her one more time. The dirt had just settled on the boss's tomb. But she and that captain were living happy and openly. Hi. You know, I think that was the moment I started getting shivers. My blood's run cold ever since. Made up my mind to flee the country then. I wanted to forget it all. Oh my god. That's really how it happened. You recall whether or not you believe me. If it all went down like you said, why were you just staring at her when we came? If you wanted revenge, we'd have been too late to stop you. I thought that's what I was coming here for. And then I saw her. Is it already time for breakfast? Now, there's nothing romantic left to this. Oh. My whole life, she was always far beyond my reach. Hmm? <sighs> okay. Story time. Wait, no! Over. I no. Even Story time isn't over. No, 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 no! Be. Keep it going. I'm afraid that's true. We've been here too long. No! <laughs> Turns out I was right about you. Huh? Like it or not, you are the type to carry the load for someone. Oh, do you ever shut up? <laughs> I can't get over this. Never thought I'd hear you say so much about yourself. <laughs> Me neither. Maybe after all this time, I had to let it out. Just to you guys. I am honored. I have never felt so honored in my life. Truly. Right. Let's not keep the detective waiting. I'm heading back. Pardon? Could you turn the heat up in here? I'm very cold. Give her your jacket. Give it. Give it. Do it. <sighs> that feels good. Thank you so much. Anything for you. <laughs> Can you might be a party member? <laughs> Oh, he is slick. You wish you were as slick as wow. him, huh, Toby? I think he's slick. Yeah! <laughs> yes. Yeah. Ichiban said it. <laughs> Cause he is slick. Damn, bro. Oh, that was so good. Damn. I am genuinely surprised in this game. I'm... Everything is just so surprising to me. No. No, 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 no. We're at the end? No. It said final. I'm gonna cry. Here, while I'm dropping some frames, I can still adjust my lighting a little bit. Oh my god. Dude, I'm like genuinely amazed because like, I don't know how Yakuza does this. They always make me care about characters that I never thought I would care about. Like, how do you actually do that, you know? How, do, how, how the fuck do you do that? 
You make me care. And I don't want to care. Like, how? How do you do this? Like, Tomi? Tomi I was really surprised about. I couldn't believe how much character development he got as a character. I wasn't... That, that came out of left field. And then Yumai. Yumai, the whole time, I said, like, oh, Yumai is just a Mabuchi 2.0 from 7. Like, he's just the bad guy. Just to be a bad guy. And he's just a dick. Just to be a dick. I really thought. I really fucking thought. Yeah, exactly. I'm so confused. <laughs> but I really, really would love for Yamai to be a party member in a future game if they don't kill him off, because I feel like Yamai's gonna die by the end of this game. And Kiryu. So, like, Kiryu and Yamai are gonna die, and then I have no reason to play Yakuza from now on. Unless Akiyama becomes the main character again. But that's besides the point. I'm so confused. <laughs> Genuinely so confused. God damn it. Ugh. Everyone's dying, dude. I'm sorry, like... I've already accepted the fact that Kiryu is dead. To the point where... To the point where, if Kiryu does not die by the end of this game, I'm legitimately gonna be so pissed. I'm gonna be so pissed if he ain't dead. Like, I've accepted it. I have spent, like, seven chapters in this game coping. And, like, accepting the fact that Kiryu is gonna die. So if he doesn't at this point... RGG, I am writing you the most angry fucking letter of my life. Because that is just fucked up if you play with my feelings and, like, he doesn't die. But no, like, he's got he's to gotta die. He's got to die. He's dead. And then Yamai is also going to die. So, yeah. Rubber cancer. Dude, I swear to fucking God, if they pull that bullshit, I will be so angry. All right. The frames are still dropping. Uh, I'm just kind of like we're chilling a little bit until the frames stop. Uh, my, my internet stabilizes and then we're then we're just going to we're going to jump right back. Into this last chapter. Oh, my God. So the good thing is I can actually finish this game before rebirth if this is the last chapter. So that's great. Yakuza will just be like a will just be a Kume lead series from now on. No, Kume can just stay in jail forever. That fucker. Rubber death. <laughs> Why does Yakuza do this? Okay, the internet is stable right now, okay? <laughs> okay, okay. We can do this, guys. <sighs> so we're gonna actually become Bleach Japan. Bleach Japan. Ugh. Can't say I'm used to that yet. Same no. for me. No. Still, to see the Seiryu clan so openly transition to a non-profit and even be welcomed by the public? Well, I've never seen a chairman do that before. Please, I'm just thinking of the future. Nonsense. This was by no means an easy feat, you know. Here, here. For years, anti-gang laws had given us a choice of two options. Stay small or go underground. And now we're basically endorsed by the country. Finally, there's another way out. The Yakuza have been aiding this country for decades. Ever since all that chaos snaked its way in after the war. This is the evolution of that. Better yet, I'd say it's exactly how things should be. Absolutely. It might even help the world to see the truth, that the Yakuza are still needed. 
necessary evil, if you will. Yeah. We'll take our rightful place at the heart of it all. Secure our legacy for years to come. <laughs> the future of the Yakuza's looking real bright. Hell, it's brighter than ever before. Yes, and for that, I'll need you all to be at your absolute best. I'm counting on you. Now then, let's call it a day. Thank you, everyone. I'm waiting for the day that Abina reveals like he's Kume's father. I thought I told you to cut that out. Oh, <laughs> sorry about that. Anyway, Could that be possible? Thanks again. He's Kume's father. Are they like Kume was young? Narasaki. He was like a young bitch. A moment, if you would, sir. I wanted to discuss some personnel changes. Okay, that was a weird way to end that. <gasps> oh! Okay. Honestly, I'm ashamed. Only okay. Only Yakuza filth would resort to a cheap tactic like this. Got it. Got it. Still, you want to let your hate run wild? Well, a knife in the back's just the thing. Minimal effort. Maximum suffering. <laughs> The future of the Yakuza? <laughs> it was a pipe dream from the start. When the trash is full, the only thing left to do is take it out. <laughs> All this time, they've put their trust in me. And they've had no clue. Wouldn't you, like, wouldn't you want to, like, clean, cleanly kill somebody? I don't understand. Why do you gotta have blood splatter all over you? Like, there's gotta be better ways of doing it than putting blood all over your own suit. Like, come on, dude. It's almost tragic, isn't it, Sawashiro-san? Oh my god. Abina. Oh my god. I was hoping you'd live long enough to see it. Okay, okay. The only future your kind have waiting. Is he burning down the Tojo clan building? Oh my god. The absolute madman! <laughs> Is this at the same time? I'm so confused. Oh! Oh no! <laughs> no! The hashtag trending. Now then, it's been about a week since the incident. Could you tell us more about the people who attacked the Seiryu clan offices? Well, firstly, it should be said that this marks a historic shift for the Yakuza world. A few years ago, the Tojo clan and the Omi Alliance, for decades the Yakuza's two biggest players, mutually disbanded. Among those in the trade, this event was labeled the Great Dissolution. The largest remaining Yakuza group thereafter was the Seiryu clan, who, of course, was the target of last week's attack. Right, and? And now, the same Seiryu clan, the current frontrunner, has taken up the torch to disband every other group still in Japan. Yes, I see. That certainly does sound historic. But the real question is, is it possible? You'd be fair to ask. At the very least, it does seem unrealistic. However, as a first step to seeing it through, the clan officially confirmed its disbandment to the police just the other day. So the torchbearers took initiative, set an example to the group still active. Correct. Additionally, the Seiryu clan also aims to reintegrate former members back into society. They mean to implement an occupation support program in partnership with a Hawaiian volunteer group, it seems. And in order to officiate things with the government, they've since reformed into a non-profit, naturally as the country can't just openly cooperate with organized crime of course while it may be a means to an end what oh <gasps> bacon oh my god thank you bacon i got bacon delivery dom is the best and it does show how serious the Siriu clan's taking things Let's not forget, they did disband. 
It's also expected that the other Yakuza groups across the country will follow suit, leading this movement to now be called the Second Great Dissolution. Now, some out there won't take too kindly to this, as you might have guessed. And there's a spark, the connection to the incident at the Seiryu headquarters. Ah, so those were the dissenters? They were responsible for the attack? Looking at those involved, yes, it seems highly likely. Speaking of, actually, the man pictured here is the one they call Hiryu. It's suspected he's the central I don't know about you guys, but all I see is Taichi Suzuki. Really? And just who are we dealing with here? You'll recall I mentioned the Tojo clan earlier, previously one of the largest Yakuza groups in Japan. He's one of its former chairmen. In short, a true blue Yakuza big shot. Rumor is, Kiryu wants anything but disbandment, which can only mean he wants the Yakuza back on top. I see. Well, regarding Kiryu, it's also said he has ties with the so-called Hero of Yokohama, that being one Ichiban Kasuga. He too has been in the news of late, after forcing former Yakuza to commit theft under the guise His name of reacclimating Yakuza, John to society. Yakuza, yeah. And true, Kasuga's true. also a former Tojo clan member on top of that. As it stands, there's a good chance he's acting under Kiryu's command, a cog in his machine. Therefore, we're looking at a unique conflict. In one corner, the Siryu clan who seek to tear down tradition and forge a new path. And in the other, Kazuma Kiryu, who aims to revive the old ways for his own interests. A clash between new and old ideologies. So it seems. I've got to admit that Thank you that your freeze time. frame on the Following news the attack, the is so went into devastating because it doesn't have Song Hee's beautiful face. It just like her head is turned away from the camera, and I think that is such a disservice to Song Hee. She deserves her full face, just plastered, so that everyone can be jealous. Ding. As citizens remain frightened, it is imperative that these assailants be found as soon as possible. See, look. She's turned away from the camera. Oh, you know what? More for us, right? If nobody else knows what Sung Hee looks like. Got word from the lookout. Doesn't seem like people know you're here. Sorry to trouble you like this, Chief. With all that's happened, this was the best place I could think of. Hey, I'm not one to Now we're all back together children. again. The whole gang. That being said, I never thought I'd see you back here again. <laughs> you even brought friends this time. Our apologies, Chief. We really appreciate it. The world outside says you're a criminal. You certainly got the face for it. Huh? But I'll tell you, I only ever trust what I see for myself. I've seen a lot. You're not the kind of man to shake things up. Still, <laughs> that mug's terrifying. <laughs> he heard you the first time. <laughs> Thank you, sir. When I mean, Kiryu comes, is very I'll intimidating. Sure you. By, like, well, stature. Y'all just kick back for now. Check in again soon. My god. The chief really helped us out. Thanks for doing all this, Kasuga. Nah, I can't exactly say we're in the clear, but we're lucky to have a safe zone, especially with the world watching. Yeah. It scared me. Yo, Sanic! Thank you for the $5 donation. I appreciate it. <laughs> Keep up the great content. Thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you. Thank you. Stay hidden forever. Heaviness moving quick. Once the waste disposal project on LA Island's in motion, countless Serio clan members will be exploited. We need to act before Ebina gets the chance. Right. I feel like it's too late to take down Ebina. <laughs> we just can't. Ebina. It's been some time, Kasuga san. Miss Japan, did we? Japan? Wait, how'd you know I was here? <laughs> and I thought you wouldn't be surprised. But no matter. I got reports from Dwight's men, just as you were off and on your way. Bryce and I are still business partners, you know. 
Anyhow, Kiryu-san's there with you too, yes? Kiryu-san? How- what, if what are we was? supposed to do against this guy? <laughs> what do you want, Ebina? Kiryu-san? It's fine, Kazuga. With all his resources, Ebina probably knew we'd meet up. Glad you see how it works. And with that, I've got some great news for you. Our Yakuza rehabilitation program was approved. Just yesterday, the government gave us free reign to see it through. Well, isn't that nice? So what? You call us just to get your kicks or something? Of course. The least I can do is share the joy with others. <laughs> Goody. Actually, there's one other thing. Thought perhaps you'd want to know. Oh, God. Huh? What? It seems I've caught myself a rat. And I must say, it's a big one. Is it Yamai? Kasuga-san should appreciate this. Oh, it's Sawashiro. Wait, it's Sawashiro. He's sending him a picture of Sawashiro. I'm an idiot. <laughs> uh, did you really think I wouldn't notice his betrayal? Of all people? Knowing his intentions, I let him roam free until the proverbial ball started rolling. In fact... Sawashiro-san was quite instrumental in gathering our colleagues. They poured in left and right. What do you plan to do with him? Are you still set on taking revenge against the Yakuza? I doubt you'd make this kind of display otherwise. Who would? Revenge? He's getting revenge on what we did to Kume. <laughs> That's to what's going on. My reason for this is simple. I could think of no better bait to reel you in. You wouldn't leave him to die, would you? If not in your character. Don't worry about me. He is not looking Apologies. good. Now, if you all would please come to the top floor of the Millennium no, Tower not by 10 all. p.m. tomorrow. <laughs> Miss our little appointment, <laughs> and I dispose of the rat. <laughs> not the Millennium Tower. Till then. That's how you know it's the end of the game. Every time they actually did it, they brought it back to the Millennium Tower. <laughs> Guess he wants us out in the open. Yep. God damn it! Think about his plans. That's the last thing he wants. They finally, this they somehow managed special. to get it back what there. Ebby now holding him like that, right? <laughs> it's our hero, I mean. No way! You could just ignore that. I, I mean, we got the talent, don't we? Whoa, don't whoa, we? whoa. Tommy looks like a goddamn idiot. His outfit looks stupid. I'm sorry, what? I hate Tommy's non-Hawaii outfit. Let's go save him. No, Abina's not the only issue here. Not with what's happening overseas. As just announced, the Seiryu clan, now known as Nonprofit Bleach Japan, rehabilitation program and all has been officially approved by the Japanese government. It is believed the government and Bleach Japan had been coordinating their plans behind closed doors for some time. A week prior to the announcement, a cruise ship carrying former Seiryu clan members left Japan for Honolulu. The ship arrived in the city just earlier today. On location, Hawaii's governor and Bryce Fairchild of partner organization Polykana welcomes the vice representative of Bleach Japan, A.G. Mitamura, as he stepped ashore. Oh, sneaky bastard. The first wave's already there. The ship is scheduled to depart for Nelly Island tomorrow, where the program <sighs> will officially get underway. They're bringing the Yakuza to the island tomorrow. Once they touch down, neither the state of Hawaii nor the Japanese government will care what happens next. They'll have wiped their hands clean, and that'll be that. And from there, they'll work as Bryce's slaves, dumping nuclear waste till the day they die. What a joke. We don't have a lot of time, not for Japan or Hawaii. What's the call? We split up. Might be dangerous, but we can't let either one go. Kazuga, about Ebina. Mind if I handle things out here? You go and stop Bryce in Hawaii. Huh? Any reason? Actually, I'd I like to work with him. I still don't have a passport. Um. 
There's some speculation, of course. Some bitch in my party it took, took it a long time ago. His what? We can talk outside. I'll be waiting. Abina's origins. He's Kume's father. Uh, but that wouldn't make sense why Kiryu wants to kill him. But I feel like if he's Kume's father, then Ichiban should be the one to, to kill him. But yeah, we did have that scene where we got... Oh, 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 this is awkward. I haven't seen you since... Uh... Sachan. Uh, hey. This is awkward. <laughs> yeah. Thanks. I just wanted to say thanks for sticking by Kiryu-san and stuff. <laughs> nope. It was nothing I wanted to. Right. Still, thank you. Didn't Kiryu-san want to talk to you, by the way? That's awkward. Okay, I'm just gonna go this direction. Damn. Hmm. You gonna make it? I'll be fine. Besides, Lanny seems like she's doing pretty well. No good if a grown-up like me out here is complaining. Seriously? Good to know. I can barely feel my feet. Oh, God. Tomi is dying. <laughs> this is awkward. Hey. It looks like we got Lani and Akane-san here safe and sound. Question is, what do we do from here okay. on out? Gotta see things through somehow. Bryce and Masataka Abina. Picked up real pair this time around, didn't we? <laughs> sure did, but we'll put him in their place. Yeah. Why is he, like, excited about it? Like, yeah, these guys suck. <laughs> Ichiban. Hmm? You mentioned before that there was already someone in your life, right? Uh, you mean what I said about back at Akane-san's? It's Saiko-san, isn't it? Huh? How did you know? I mean, there's only other... There's one girl besides Song Hee that's here. Shitose really doesn't have to do much deduction. You keep looking over at her. It's pretty obvious. <sighs> Seriously? Man, I'm such a creep. Sup? Come on, you're really not going to talk to her? <laughs> you only get one life, far as I know. Be ashamed to waste it. <laughs> I think Adachi-san told me the same thing. Thanks, Chi-chan. I think mm -hmm. I'll give it another shot. I don't think we should. Saiko's a bitch. You know, you could really do a lot better. Excuse me. Akane-san, Lani, you two aren't cold? Oh, I'm just fine, thank you. What about Lani? Yeah. I'm sure we can at least get you some hot water if you guys want. Letting us stay here is plenty. We've made things difficult no. enough. It's no trouble, even if it was, no worries. It's okay to trouble people now and then. You two have done all you can up to this point. Nobody will blame you for anything. Not even Madame Nelle, I'll bet. <laughs> I guess we could ask for a bit of grace. That reminds me, Lonnie, we're in the same we're in the home stretch now. <laughs> Once things settle down, we'll hit we're hitting the town. I'm gonna show you what this country's all about. Oh boy. What's up? Kiryu-san asked you to talk to you, didn't he? Better not keep Thanks. him waiting. I won't. Huh? It's just I wanted to thank you first. I really appreciate you guys taking care of him all this time. Just doing my job and simping. As for as head of the underworld, I'd be remiss not to. <laughs> Plus, knowing I could help him even a little, it's quite the honor. Yes. Anyway, think of nothing of it. Go on and see Kiryu Song. Song he's secretly like simping on the inside, like I fucking love Kiryu. This has been the greatest like week of my life, however long it's been. Okay, you're right, Alan. Chitose has always been great. And I took a long time to uh, see it through. Yeah, no, the... Uh, should we have a command? I feel like we should have a command for the, the internet problems I'm going to have for the next two weeks. Uh, drop frames are going to happen, like, right now, actually, as we speak. Uh, <laughs> just make sure to refresh the stream every now and then, and there's literally nothing I can do. There's, there's nothing I can do about the internet. It's not that good in this location. <laughs> Shame our stay in Hawaii was so short. Sorry to ship you back home so quick. Still, it did help us get the girls Japan yes. side. An accomplishment, to be sure. All that's left is the checkmate, so okay. to speak. Right, Bryce and Abina, we won't let him get away with us.
Look at all the loot down there. Wait, can I not talk to... I can't talk to him. He's just whistling. I wonder if he's like singing a specific song that we're supposed to recognize. Wait, hold on. I was trying to listen to it. I didn't recognize what he was whistling. He's out of bounds. You're powerless against this technique. I could never sit in a place like that. That's not even that high up, but I... Okay, that's that's metal as fuck, actually. I can't... What's he whistling? I, I, okay, I don't think it's anything. Nanba! <sighs> Who would have thought we'd be back here again? Honestly, it's not thanks. a bad spot. By the way, Nanba, thanks for looking after Kiryu-san. All I did was watch the guy. He didn't need anyone, especially not me. Yeah, right, man. He looks way better than he did in Hawaii. You guys must have gone above and beyond. No, Date did. Date went above and beyond. Namba, Namba didn't do anything. <laughs> Date did all of the work. It'll probably take a while to explain. You good on time? I think we got all the time in the world, right, chat? We got all the time in the world. Yes. Sit back, grab some popcorn. Let's go. So, Ebony and I are brothers? Oh, I forgot what about Daigo that plot point. True, yeah. Then. Yeah. That's what Daigo said. Um, so like Assuming you're Arakawa. Son. That means Kume is. Of course, still isn't clear. That would be really awkward. Uh, forget I said anything. There's forget no I said anything at all. Only the boss makes that call, and you're sworn to go along with it. Nabina probably didn't care much for that line of thinking. That's my guess, at least. The Hikawa family patriarch, that being Nabina's grandfather, forced the marriage between his daughter and Arakawa. He never once considered their feelings. And when Arakawa asserted his love for Akane-san, that same man tried to have him killed. Why was Hikawa angry? Because his daughter was shamed? Not even close. It's because he made the call, yet Arakawa made his own. For all the man had, Hikawa just couldn't let that go. And the result? Maybe not lost the father, while his mother could only go so far. He was born of the Yakuza, and that would follow him the rest of his life. This isn't anything special either. I've seen similar tragedies happen countless times. I even had the chance to change those old ways once or twice. I was the fourth head of the Tojo clan, but even then, I chose a different path. So that's it. You feel like you gotta step up and take responsibility. Ebina's made his choice, and I can't change it for him. Taking responsibility is already well out of the question. I know that. Regardless, I don't want him to stray past the point of no return. If he goes any further with this, that'll be it. So I'll give all I have to stop him. I have to. It's the only way I could ever make amends. 
I've been part of this since the beginning, after all. And with that, Kasuga, I'm leaving everything else to you. No matter what era you're in, there's always someone who breaks the rules and strays from the rest of the pack. People just like us, for what it's worth. Those people deserve a place to call home, a chance to keep going. Can I ask you to give that to them? Me? I'll take on the Yakuza's past. But you... I want you to handle their future. <sighs> wow, well, tall order. And just like that... That was a nice you shot You realize what ass. you're asking me to do Sorry. here, right? Anyhow... You can count on me, Kiryu-san. You know, I joined Hello Work for all kinds of reasons. But now I see it's really just because I wanted the same future you do. Thank you, Kasuga. That said, I do have one thing I gotta ask of you. Hmm. Don't go throwing your life away. Ebbing has got to be stopped, and you may be short on time. But don't treat this like it's the end. Kiryu-san, you gotta live. You live every last second you can. When you go, you go out strong. I won't let you otherwise. <sighs> Once this is over... I'll need help cleaning up all this dissolution business. <laughs> I mean, come on. You were a part of it too, right? All right. It's a deal. <laughs> what? Just funny, you lecturing me. <laughs> well, you live this long, you're bound to hit a surprise or two. And hey, I'll bet there's more to come, right? Right. I'm sure. <sighs> yeah. No doubt. All right. Now, I've got a lecture for you. No. Back then, just what did you tell Psycho? They must have really been something to set her off like that. Uh, 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 so, she's still pissed at me, huh? <laughs> you proposed to her, didn't you? Uh, I did. <laughs> and she turned me down hard. I even talked it out with Namba and Adachi-san and apologized to her a ton. Oh, she was being all short about it. Hey, come on. Don't be so pathetic. <laughs> oh, sure. Wait, well, I, I'd love some advice. I, uh, actually, uh, never mind. You don't seem like a, a ladies' man. And what's that supposed to mean? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. I, I mean, you're a good dude. Well, give me some credit. I've been around a few times. Wait, have you really? Jeez, I, I'm sorry. I, I just didn't expect that. So what, you, you've actually proposed and stuff? <laughs> of course. For Giga real? Chad, Kiryu. What all you say? You know, for reference and stuff. Hmm. When I proposed... Actually, I said I love you, and that was about it. I love you. <gasps> no! Hmm? <gasps> Idiot! 
Why do I gotta be such a dumbass? Oh. Hey, what's gone into you? Hey, sorry, guys. We got an emergency. <laughs> Dude, why was he just freaking out? The heck are you? Just because he realized, like, he You're didn't tell what the hell? Oh, great. Daidoji. Here, you guys you want really it? You really need a mess of it now, Kazuma Kiryu. Not only did you ignore Hanawa's standby orders, you went and made yourself famous. Last I checked, you're supposed to be dead. This is a serious breach of agreement. But I don't really need to tell you that, do I? That all said, the truth of the matter is, you've done some great work. In addition to securing your target, Akane, you also protected the key figure in the case. This that was Monica. quite the scream. I can't get over that. You <laughs> really, even like, scream. Him safely to Japan. You've got an iron will, and you're a superb fighter. Furthermore, Ichiban Kasuga calls you a friend. No one else would have what it takes to pull this off. You make it sound so official, like all that was according to plan. No, far from it. But after everything, you've certainly made things convenient for us. Right now, it's not hard to imagine what you're all thinking. Stop the Seiryu from getting shipped off to Nele Island. Is the Daidoji actually gonna it's help? It's the same on our end. Okay. But didn't the Japanese government officiate that? Aren't you with them? You seem to misunderstand. As far as government goes, our allegiance lies with the Citizens' Liberal Party. However, four years ago, with Ryo Aoki's failures, the CLP quickly lost trust in their form of the race. Which means the current government is our political enemy. Okay. Sounds like you just want to drag them down. With them out, you guys might just find your way back in. Is that it? Make of it. Now, you'll have to travel in secret, so we've got a private jet waiting. Just give us the word, and we'll get you there in no time flat. You're pretty cooperative, provided our interests align. Call it a politically informed decision. However, that's not the only reason we're helping you out. There's another. Hmm. <clears throat> Hanawa, you see, was tasked with submitting a daily report. These would usually include a brief summary, but on one rare occasion, he added his own impressions. They were about all of you. These people are not motivated by any self-interest. They'll risk their very lives, whatever the mission. They are to be treated with respect as equals. Do so, and we'll surely achieve our goals. His words. As it turned out, that would be his final report. Oof. You know, he rarely ever praised people. Huh. You should be thankful. The private jet leaves tomorrow morning. I should be Those thankful. Those headed to Hawaii. Be ready to go first thing. I should be thankful. So Japan's future is on us. Didn't expect that, but hey, what's one more thing at this point? You scared yet? Not a chance. Tell me, Ichiban's Adachi never scared. Jungi, Chichan, will you guys go back to Hawaii with me? Of course. Think that's pretty much a given. Nanba, Sunny, Saigo, Zhao. It's all come to this. Will you join me at Millennium Tower to see it through? Kiryu goes to the Millennium We're with Tower. You all the way, Kiryu-san. <laughs> Right. We settle things tomorrow. As was ordained. <laughs> I like your spirit, pal. Classic. <laughs> and speaking of spirits, what say we enjoy a few, huh? Dude, Chief? Hey, so wow. based. You sure about this, Chief? So based. <laughs> well, it ain't free. So come home safe, all right? 
You can pay me back then. Chief, you got it. We'll definitely take you up on that. Don't you worry. I got some soda and candy just for Aww, you. Aw, man. What do you mean Lonnie can't have beer? Man, this game. <laughs> Aww. Oh, it's weird seeing Chitose and Sai go together next to each other. Aww. <laughs> Aww. Zhao's just chilling by himself. <laughs> I want to be this guy. I take it back. Yeah, I want to be Shell. Oh. Kiryu's gone. Where's Kiryu? Oh, it's not Kiryu. I thought it was Kiryu. Yeah, I always forget Saiko exists. Oh god, are they gonna have their talk now? Oh no, they're gonna have their talk. Ugh, I almost don't want to see this. Go have that talk? No! How about no? Oh, everyone is so cute. Chitose, you actually sleep like that? Who sleeps like that? Normal ass NPC sleep dot PNG. She sleeps like a corpse, right? And like, this is how... Okay, this is a bit much. Tomi sleeping like this? How... Dude? Zhao, this is a base. This is based. Where did Kiryu go, though? Kiryu, Kiryu's not here either. <laughs> Tell me what the- I'm struggling to vibe pose. Man, look at us going up these stairs. One step at a time. They programmed this, and you are going to appreciate Ichiban going upstairs. The internet? Oh. We'll wait it out, don't worry. We'll wait it out. It'll come back. In the meantime, it's okay. You're only missing Ichiban perfectly going upstairs. Wait, was I supposed to go up here? I don't know, actually. Oh, it's back. See, the internet's fine again. Just remember to give the stream a refresh. Yeah, we're back. Oh, I wasn't supposed to go up here. Oh, that's embarrassing. I was supposed to go outside. Yeah, like I said, the internet here is really... Um, we're in the countryside, so the internet here is not the best. It's gonna be unstable, but it will always come back. So you just kinda gotta wait it out like a minute. Oh, she was just here the whole time. And she's just on her phone. So is Sunky like asleep? Is she gonna be listening to this? Is that how you sleep? She's dreaming about Kiryu. Oh, she is so dreaming about Kiryu. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All 
All right, let's hope this ain't a disaster. I really don't like Sayako in this game. I mean, to be honest, I wasn't crazy about her. Oh my god, she just left it there? I wasn't crazy about her in Seven either, but like, man. Uh, trouble sleeping? Oh, uh, what? Ichiban? Oh, uh, Jesus. sorry. Did I scare you? Oh, <laughs> no, it's fine. But Ichiban, shouldn't you be asleep? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know if it's nerves or something, but uh, I can't catch a wink. Uh, uh, oh, uh, yeah? Uh, <sighs> I feel like Sayako should apologize here. That's how this should start. This conversation should start with her apologizing. So, Ichiban's uh, done it enough. Sachan. She hasn't. Uh, yeah? Um, what's up? Well, uh, uh. Sachan, if we both make it back safe, uh, well, there's something I need to tell you. Y yeah? Uh, when the time comes, will you hear me out? Wait, what's this all about? What do you think it's about, Please. dumbass? Use a single brain cell. Just a word. That's all I ask. Okay. Psycho is the All luckiest right. ass girl in this whole world and she doesn't even deserve it. We better it. both come <laughs> I hate out it. in one piece. <sighs> yeah. You be careful, Sachan. You too. <sighs> well, uh, uh, good night. Uh, good night. <sighs> Ichiban is doing great despite the circumstances. Okay. They both fucked up, but he is no, doing all of the work. She is still a bitch. God. She could have just apologized there. She has to apologize too. Mm. Still awake? This is ass. The, yes. Oh, it's been so long since I've been home, I guess I'm a little restless. I'm sorry, did I wake you? Are you cold? I'm okay. Thank you, Akane. Hmm? For staying with me this whole time. Hmm. You're welcome. So, um, do you like Polycana? <laughs> hmm? Do you I like do. Polycana? It's, well, it's a special place for me. Then, I think it's my turn to protect you. I'm going to keep your special place safe. Lani. I mean it. Aww. I know I can do that. So rest easy. I won't let anything happen to it. Oh. Thank you, Lani. That means the world. Okay? Let's both get some sleep. Okay. Good night. Go get him, Lani. Thank you. Oh, she's so cute. What's up, Chitose? Got somewhere to be? <laughs> There's Kiryu. I'm not running away. I'll be back by morning. So, please, just give me some time. So that's it. Just like that. Tojo headquarters are just up in flames. That's rough. After all these games, that's how it goes. Damn. Ah! Yes! That's hot, yes. The legendary tattoo, there we go.
Wait, did he just slick his hair back and we're like, oh my god, he put on the original suit. Oh. <laughs> Old Jeez. Kiryu? Oh, damn. Old Kiryu's back. Looks like you're about ready. Whoever's oh, going to that's how you know it's time. real. Stay safe. It goes for them. And oh, I can't handle this. It's like Kiryu's Same last bout. Till we meet again, Kasuga. All oh, the music. Oh, I'm gonna cry. <laughs> <sighs> oh my god. Man. Ah. <laughs> Here you son. I hope he's okay. We just do what we gotta do. Namba and the others are with him. He'll be fine. Right. The Bleach Japan ship has already left for Nelly Island, and it won't take long. We need to hurry after them. What do you Maybe mean we need to hurry? Do me. We still got drink sure links, buddy. This fight's our responsibility. We're not done. Here you and the others are counting on us to win. Right. Let's make them proud then. Ichiban still doesn't have a passport. We ought to head to the port once we're ready. The point of no return. This will be the last period of free time in Hawaii. Holy shit. Okay. And we can change between night and day. And Yamai can go to Tontoko Island. <laughs> ah! All right, we got to finish, uh, oh God, we have so much. Okay, we also have a Dachi walk and talk. Um, we have, we have, we have to finish Junhi, and we, okay, okay, nobody panic. We're only going to like beat the game tomorrow, for sure, tomorrow. I think, I, I think we're going to take a bit to like finish up some stuff here. Let's be off. Uh, Kiryu put back on his old suit, guys. He put on the suit. Your oh. Oh, sorry. Ugh. Time to go Anything but the sandbagger. Yamai is available in Animal Crossing. I'll show you a fight. <laughs> No, 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 I don't want to finish this game today. I'd rather it be tomorrow. So tomorrow, it'll be done. But we're still going to have a fun time tonight. Get more battery? Uh, go to the pawn shop. You just buy it at the pawn shop, I think, for like $1,500. Nothing super fancy. I can do this! Oh, a Sujimon. <laughs> sure. I don't know if I have this guy in my Suji decks or not. I don't think I do, actually. There you go. Token of friendship. How about it? Elias? Wait, do you see Elias? Did you see him in the background? Damn it. Oh shit! Oops. Think you can tame me, huh? Another Elliot. Elliot hates Elliot. Elliot hates us. It's confirmed. Hey.
Why are there so many enemies everywhere on the beach? Wow. The beach really went to shit. And at this rate, the You will also have a point of no return for Kia you after this. Might take you two days. Stop backseating. Holy shit. Don't donate to backseat. What is wrong with you? Thank you for the five dollars. You know, like a light. It's like listening to healing music. You know, why do people the do this? Is known for its calming effect. I've even found that listening to admin. Oh, you just cut off Junie's conversation, asshole! Yeah. Yeah, I forgot the FOE alert is really loud. <laughs> um, and I've thought about the, the like, approving donations, because it, it happens actually quite a bit. Um, I don't, I don't know. I don't want to do that. I don't want to have to do that. Uh, Let's continue our conversation. Yeah, thank you. I've even found that listening to atmospheric ocean sounds helps thank me you, sleep. Thank you, Jimmy. Oh, so it's not just me. Then maybe tonight I'll just knock out right hey, here. If you want back pain, a cold, or you'd What's like up? being robbed, then by all hey. means. Hey, second thought. Oh my god, Take no. I keep, I'm trying to dodge all these guys. Uh... Let's continue our conversation. Junie just wants to continue the conversation. We're just gonna ocean stand still. Sounds helps me sleep. Oh, so it's not just me. Then maybe tonight I'll just knock out right here. If you want back pain, a cold, or you'd like being robbed, then by all means. On second thought, my room is pretty comfy. We're really opening up. Two more with Junie, like and then we to still gotta get well. drink links too. Gotta finish up his story. Dude, I think if I had an alert what? that was the cheapy choppa, cheapy cheapy choppa choppa sound alert, y'all would actually kill me. I'm pretty sure everybody would stop watching my stream. This. A peace offering. Sure. I'm with sure. You. Sujimon acquired. I feel it. All right, we have a hot date night with Adachi, which I think is very exciting. But before we have a hot date night with Adachi, I'm Aloha. gonna eat everything I can from this place. Ooh, I'm starving. Time to eat. Man, nothing comes oh, that juicy steak like some good old red wine. Almost as good as beer and barbecue. Yeah, something about meat and alcohol just works. Whether you're at a yaki niku spot or tossing one back at home. Supposedly, the strong flavor of steak elevates the robustness of red wine. They complement each other and in turn give the meal more depth. As a bonus, Certain properties of wine help neutralize the steak's fattiness, making the dish even more palatable from there. Oh, makes sense. Guess it's the same story for beer and barbecue, then. Right. It's the grease on the meat that makes a dry, slightly carbonated drink like beer all the more refreshing. In fact, I the other day, beer. I saw a program that mentioned beer was voted as the best drink to pair with barbecue. Man. Seems like there's a scientific basis for everything. That's, that's I know that that's true, Steak but. And red wine, beer, and barbecue. Uh, a bit like myself and Chitose. What? Well, what's that supposed to be? What, what does that mean? A perfect chemistry. Come on. Does it really need explanation? <laughs> oh, God, no. You and me are nothing like steak and wine. More like oil and water. <laughs> huh? What? 
That is oh, great. Right okay. Right Thank you very much. Time for drinks with Dachi san. A nice romantic date. Just me and the boy. There's nothing like an ocean view to go with some wine. Makes it taste even better. I have wine. I have a lot of wine. Kind of makes me want to go well, get some. You sure right look now. happy, Dachi san. Heck yeah, I am. Always better to live happy, am I right? Now you're winning in life, as long as you're having fun. <laughs> Guess that's true. And come to think of it, I've been to all sorts of places ever since I met you. I even took a trip to Osaka, too. Oh, we sure did. Now here we are, two pals, having some drinks in Hawaii. Yeah. Oh, we're a long ways from home now. You know, it wouldn't be too far-fetched to call ourselves... Travel Buddies? Hmm? <laughs> Isn't that kind of an exaggeration? <laughs> ah, we just gotta make it happen. Let's go on even more trips. All of us. Paris or ooh, New York would be great. Any places you want to visit? Me? Uh, I don't know. Let's see. Okinawa. Oh, yeah. I gotta say Okinawa. Oh, I'd love to visit Okinawa one day. Akiryu san said it was a great place. Yeah. No doubt. And the local specialties are to die for, too. Soki soba, chinsuko cookies, Okinawa donuts, and all. Oh, can't forget the awamori. Great. <laughs> now I'm starving. Oh, sounds like we're both gonna gain some weight over in Okinawa. I mean, oh, the sea breeze here feels probably real nice. And the ocean's damn gorgeous at night, too. That makes for a nice photo op, huh? Actually, why don't we take one? You in or what? Yeah. Hot me? Hot date picture. Yeah, I mean, we're already here and all. Hell, count me in too. I hate that it's dark outside, yeah, so you can't see the ocean in the background job. much at all. Maybe we ought to go around taking pictures more often. Definitely. Let's just keep at it and explore where we can. Sounds good to me. Damn. Nice drink link. All right, where are we going to next? We do got one right next to Resolve. Revolve. All right, we have this one though too. Kiryu was at his widest in Yakuza 3. That's true. He was. He was at his widest. I keep pressing this the wrong area button. Oops. It's a completely different vibe compared to the beaches and malls. Yeah, it's sketchy here, all right. Has to keep your guard up. Hey, you just ain't a show, dipshit. But I actually feel at peace in this dreary place. What? Perhaps this is simply instinct for someone who's made the underworld their home. I don't know. I like that smile you had on the beach while we were under the bright sun. I don't think the shadows are the only place where you belong. How in the world did yeah, you manage to say that my without a shred bed. of embarrassment? Well, maybe you're not wrong. All right. He belongs in my bedroom. Damn, we're so close now. Thirty months, holy shit! It's been that long. Holy shit! Hi, Chad and Chris. How leaks, wave leaks, wave leaks, wave. I'm free. Thank from you work, so much Chris for the hype. thirty months. I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. Am I going the right way? Well. I could just teleport, but why would I do that whenever I can ride my Segway and talk to you guys? Bro, that was hella gay. All of the dates, all of like the these like final talks that you have after getting all the drink links are like kind of kind of gay. The best one was Song Hee though. I, I I love her so much. I would go on a million dates with Song Hee. And I think we should go on a lot more dates with her. Wait, okay, here's what I don't understand. 
How the fuck is Ichiban even attracted to Saiko in the first place? Like, Song He is standing right there. But no. He's attracted to Saiko. Of all fucking girls. Like, bitch, you can do better. You know? She isn't that bad in 7. She's still, like, not my favorite character in 7, though. Like, I didn't really love her in 7, either. But, like... I just don't understand what Ichiban sees in her. At all. Like, Sung Hee, go. Like, come on. You could date Sung Hee. <laughs> oh, okay. I know Sung Hee is definitely in on Kiryu, but if you take Kiryu out of the equation, like we could, we could make it work. We could make it work. Ultimate Suji Munch. Do I have to go in the bar? I think I have to go in the bar. I just, I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but like, I don't feel, oh, it is outside. Wait, what? Um, I don't feel much of a connection. Like, I never felt a connection between Ichiban and Sayako, even in 7, too. So it just feels really weird. It feels like such a forced plot point. And I don't, I just don't get it. I have a very high tolerance. Good for you, Junghee. I, I can't, I don't know where your drink link is. Is it upstairs in Revolve? Like, oh, is it on the roof? It's on the rough! Oh. Hey, get over here. <clears throat> Wait, is it on the rough? Where am I going? <laughs> oh, it is on the rough. Okay, there we go. There we go. Wait, what? <laughs> Friendly as ever. They're just chilling here? I never... Yakuza, everybody. This is- this is Yakuza. We're on the rough. This is a very romantic place to talk to- to talk to Juni. Sure is a beautiful starry sky. It is. But I'm partial to the stars you can see over Komijo. For the Bone Festival, Sony and I sit and moon gaze while eating tango. Oh, for real? So you guys go all out celebrating. They go the moon gazing? Fest. How are they not dating? Social events are crucial. They help us to better appreciate culture and lift morale. Then tango and other treats can be enjoyed to the fullest extent, as they should be, right? Yeah, you know it. So. How about next time we go stargazing? Let's enjoy some shave ice. Hmm, that sounds nice. Count me in. We're really opening up. Yeah, they do have a very sibling relationship. All complete. That's true, that's true. Friends forever, oh my god. I uh, head to the black hibiscus I'm during the day. Okay, we'll do a, uh, I guess we'll, we'll do, we'll do a link. Let's go. Dude, RGG did go. their research with Sup, Hawaii. Jungi? They absolutely did you so much research. You want another drink together? <laughs> yes, Holy of shit. course. 
Your company is always welcome, Kasuga-san. And I love them for it. I was glad to see that some things never change. For instance, Namba-san is just as pleasant as ever. <laughs> A former nurse indeed, given his bedside manner. But I could tell that Kiryu-san trusted him. That's great. I was hoping he'd pull through. Man, did he live up to my expectations. Real great. So even Namba's kicking ass over there. Speaking of Ijin Cho, I just remembered something. Do you mind if I ask you something personal? Huh? No need to beat around the bush. Go ahead, ask away. Why no, do you like Saiko? It's about you and Saiko-san. Oh my god, I fucking uh, uh, called wait, it. <laughs> what? What about me and Saiko? Oh my god! You proposed to her a few years ago, correct? But after that, she stopped contacting you. How are things going now? Oh, right. Let me guess. You heard about it from Namba. Actually, yeah, guys, uh, guys I have something to confess. So I, like, I, I wrote this game. I, I was part it. of the writing team. Oh, no. I didn't hear about this from Namba-san. The Komijul web catches even the most minuscule of details. That was how I found solid information about you failing your proposal. He literally stalked us in this moment. <laughs> oh, seriously? You guys actually tracked that kind of info? <laughs> What's up with that? <laughs> wait, wait. And do Sunny and Zhao also know that I proposed? It's not like I can hide information from Sunny. As for Zhao, well, she had no reason not to tell him. <laughs> right. But man, did you really have to? I didn't want that spreading around. <laughs> what is there to hide at this point? We're all comrades who've put our lives on the line, aren't we? You think you could give me some advice? Then, you think you could give me some advice? Unfortunately, I, I am not I responsible for writing Psycho like this. No, I would have made her way more likable. And being a good listener. So please, feel free to rant as much as you'd like. I would have written. Okay, if I wrote the romance part of this, of uh, it would have yeah, actually okay, been done well. I get it. Guess it wouldn't hurt to talk about it. I love RGG writing, but this part just ain't it. I know now that I spouted all sorts of selfish things at her. I told her she could quit her job whenever we have kids and and that we could visit Arakawa-san's grave to make him happy. Sachan just smiled and said she wasn't bothered, but I haven't been able to get in touch with her since. Not even once? Yeah, because she's a once. bitch! She's completely ignoring me, won't even reply to my messages or pick up my calls. Queen of communication right here. I've been place too. If I showed my face there, I'd just be adding more fuel to the fire. Ah, uh, I see. That's reasonable of you. Uh, have you met up with her recently? Yes, actually. I saw her when Kiryu-san came by. She treated me the same as always. Uh, same goes for Namba and the others? Right. My apologies. This must be hard for you to hear. <sighs> Guess it's pretty damn clear she's drawn a line between us. Hey, Junki, do you happen to know why Sachan's been avoiding me? While I did discover that you proposed to her, I didn't unearth any details regarding what you said. And from my perspective, it would be wise not to speculate. But if Psycho Sun truly intends to avoid you, then I'm sure she would have left you with some words to mull over. Huh? At least, I would think so, knowing what I do of your relationship. Had it been anyone but you, Kasuga-san, I have no doubt she would have told them to take a hint the moment she cut things off. <laughs> you would be nothing more than a stalker if you kept it up after that. Yeah, I totally get that. That's why I haven't been reaching out to her. But you're not the sort of man who would hurt Psycho-san in any way. That hardly needs to be said. Yeah, Psycho and I didn't mean to, and I apologize. Otherwise, if she did want to end things with you, she would have made that obvious. So basically, you're saying Sachan hasn't completely given up on me? I believe Bitch, that's you should very give up on possible. her. Still, it would be difficult to confirm that yourself. If neither of you get the chance to reach out to one another, could I be your middleman? I feel like, you know, I love Junki. I love him. But I, I feel like he's not the best person to be a middleman. 
I would much rather like Kiryu be my wingman. Jungi is like, he's a little bit awkward. I don't know. Can he, is he a good wingman? I don't feel like he'd be the best wingman in this situation. I love you though. <sighs> he's trying and I appreciate that. Yeah, I do. You sure it's okay to help me out? Hold on. Are you sure it's okay to help me out with this? I mean, you gotta be busy with officer stuff, right? You've been keeping your distance up till now. But here I am now, sitting next to you. <laughs> There's no need to be so cold, an old friend. <laughs> You're a nicer guy than I thought, Jungi. What do you mean? How could well, you say that to me? It's rather harsh of you, isn't it? Yeah. With that for today. Oh my God! I'm glad he called him out Don't for you that. Blame me. When we first met, it felt like you were always making fun of us. Sometimes, the strangest food may become an acquired taste. The longer you chew on it, is he the calling more himself strange? Ichiban Kasuga, you are very oh, much the me. same way. Okay, that's okay. And Thank for you. I in think my profession, um... a friend who can cross those boundaries is all the more precious. You, and Saiko-san, and everyone else, I consider you all to be my good friends. Oh, come on, man. I'm way too sober to handle all this sap right now. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I suppose that's fair. My apologies. Uh, excuse me, barkeep. Two more drinks here, please. One for me, and one for my good friend here. Aww. <laughs> Fine. Guess I gotta go for another round if you're gonna be that insistent. Drink up, Jungi. To friendship, and to Sachan, too. <laughs> but of course, that's what I was planning to do this whole time. Oh, boy. Alright, we gotta go do that. Uh... Wait, what? I was not talking. What? Thank you. How was... I didn't... What? Okay. I don't know how that happened. <sighs> okay. Uh, let's see. We have the... We have, we have to finish... I don't... I don't remember where it was at. Hibiscus? I don't... I don't see it on my map. Was it during the daytime? Maybe it was during the daytime and I have to change... I, do I have to change the time of day? It looks like I might have to change time of day. I have a okay. very high tolerance. Yeah. Do you think Jungi should be a therapist? A no. Around. Dude is so dense. He'd be... What? He'd be like the... No. He'd be like the worst therapist you could ever... F no. <clears throat> I How's it going out here? I I love that this is like a thing. That's just a... the Chocobo and and Nancy and Olivia just chilling. <laughs> but have you considered murder? <laughs> Where I don't even remember where this place is at. Have been... I don't I don't see it on my map. Maybe it's in the evening. Maybe I still don't have the time of day right. Do we, do we st do, do I still not have the time? Of day? <laughs> nice going out there. JP Karaoke. I thought I think we did it enough before. All right, evening. What are you looking for? Uh, Jung He's uh, end of drink link conversation. It's one of these times of day. <laughs> Ooh, 
You just read dishwasher as dick washer? Wait, but no. Wait, no, no, no. Don't be afraid of that thought. Like, follow through with the thought. Follow through with the thought. I bought a new dick washer, but I don't think I got the right kind. It literally fits in so perfect. Yeah, sometimes it's better to just, like... It, like, for example, when I, misread, when I misread things a lot, I like to follow through just because it makes life interesting. I don't run away from it. Yeah! Exactly! Doesn't it make sense now? I bought a new dick washer, but I don't think I ever got the right kind. Uh... Uh, I gotta talk to the store. I gotta talk to the guy at the store again. See, it makes sense. He's gotta wash his dick too, just like the rest of us. I have a dick too. <laughs> it is still not on the map. Do I have to go in somewhere? I don't remember where the hibiscus thing is that they want me to go to. Or is it here and I'm just like absolutely blind? Where are we? Hey, can I borrow your dick washer? Mine broke, right? I think it's a sound train of thinking. <laughs> R three to cycle icons, but I don't. I don't think that's gonna. I mean, I, I, that's not gonna help, because I. I mean, I mean, I can see through all the icons. It's just not here. Um. I just, okay, the hibiscus, I don't, hibiscus, I think that's what he said, but I'm just not sure what that, what that is. Hibiscus building. Not the Nirvana Hotel. It should be on the west side of the map during the daytime. I already did, I already did the daytime though. It wasn't there. Time to you can highlight here. it in the tasks. Here, let me go into the main menu then. We gotta make sure we do everything. Um, 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 where is the town? Because it's not... Spawns? Spawn bingo. Yeah, okay, but like... Where's our, where's our chit chat? Top the very oh ta oh my god I literally didn't read the very first one. Look at me go. Wait, the final walk and talk with Jiao too. Wait, and Chitose. That didn't come up on my map. Wait. Okay, the black hibiscus during the day. It's a it's a food place. Okay. So and also Chitose, I didn't get her final one. Oh my god. You did a mistake searching up dick washer? So what did you find? You have to share with the class. Is there like actually dick washers out there? One too many. All right, during the day. Oh, it popped up over here. Okay. There we go.
All right. Now we can go on a nice date with Jun He. Let's go. <sighs> These aromas really do stimulate the appetite. What should we try first? Your cold sore doing okay? If not, I could always do the eating. <laughs> I appreciate your consideration, but I'm quite all right. I have high pain tolerance when it comes to issues like this. Oh. You don't have to push yourself. Okay. Just eat once you're better. I'm only kidding. My cold sore is all gone. Even spicy ramen shouldn't be a problem now. Okay. He can okay. handle spice. As long as you're fine, I don't want to force you. Thanks for your concern. You do eat a lot, though, Junki. When the two of us meet up, it feels like all we do is eat. Meals are the basis of life. But since you mentioned it, I feel like I do eat out more when I'm with you, Kasuga-san. <laughs> well, it's because we go on a lot of dates. Like, are you eating? Kindred spirit, am I right? <laughs> the fact that you say such things sincerely and truly mean it, that's a noble trait. Uh, okay. <laughs> that's, that's a compliment. Of course. <laughs> compliment, My right? Commendation. Huh. At any rate, sometimes a home cooked meal is more appealing than an extravagant dinner out. True. How about I cook for you? That's romantic, right? Then how about I make a meal just for you? You, Kasuka san? You can cook? Yes. Sure. It's your choice of hard boiled, sunny side up, or scrambled eggs. So a basic breakfast is all you can make. <laughs> Still, I do appreciate the sentiment. Basic breakfast. I'll be sure to bring okay, along that's not good eggs. enough for him. Then I'll fry him up. Ooh, that meal was phenomenal. <laughs> you should see the smile on your face. I'm totally sending a pic to Sunny. Oh. As a status report, you know? Status reports are fine and good, but why now? Unless you intend to be in the picture. Yes. Besides, don't you report to Kiryu-san? Uh, this is the point of reporting to Kiryu-san that we just finished eating. Well, why not? <laughs> what an utterly ridiculous photo. Son, he doesn't need to see that. Isn't ridiculous just business as usual? Can't argue there. <laughs> There's never a dull moment with you, Kasuga-san. Hey, the feeling's mutual. There we go. Give me all of the bond level. There we go. There we go. Now we're talking. Now we're talking. We're still not high enough, though, for the next drink link. We're gonna have to, you know, we're, we have to, we have to go to the playhouse. And we're gonna have to spend a lot of money at the playhouse. Dolls and devils, Junki, you're about to have a great time. Aloha. <laughs> Drop money on strippers to make him love you. Enjoying yourself. Eyes on me. See, Junkie's into it. Don't look away now. The screaming. This is on the house. So beautiful. Let's enjoy ourselves. Damn. So beautiful. See you next time. <laughs> Come Amazing. See. Thank you very much. And talk to Junhi at Revolve. That's all we had to do. <laughs> yep. Enjoying yourself? Oh, I can skip it this time. Is she? Twenty percent. 
Let's enjoy ourselves. Wait, we actually got it? How incredible! 20% chance and it worked? <laughs> Come see me again. Thank you very much. Talk to Joongi at Revolve. You know Aloha. what? We could do it again, though. I can't believe this is just in the game. Oh, they don't. There's no direction so telling you to go Let's here at all. So See you next time. <laughs> all right, Come give me you. more hundred. Okay, there Thank we go. I don't think I need to do any more. Oh, wrong way. This is the way out. Okay, that was embarrassing. All right, so drink link with Junhi, and then we also have to finish up the the final talk. Thing with uh, Chitose, and then we can finish and beat the game right now, right here. Time to put our feet up. Hey, yo, Tommy, what up? Jungi's on the phone. Yo. Is that another call from your Comey Jewel subordinate? It was, yes. Wait, why is there a pinned Honestly, message? It's a bit worrisome. What is I was this? Under the impression they'd be comfortable with everything. Oh my god. Now it's starting to feel like harassment, since they defer to my judgment on even the most trivial of matters. But isn't it great they depend on you so much? I guess that means they still need you around. Feels better than being told everything's fine, even when you're not there. Huh, I didn't consider that. You do make a good point. Oh, yeah, I've been wondering. Who'd you leave in charge? Do I know him? No, I don't believe you two have ever met. But they do know about you, Kasuga-san. Her name is Yana, young woman. Not yet 30, if I recall correctly. Yana? Oh, you've got a girl working for you. <laughs> and uh, before you ask, yes, <laughs> she is quite beautiful. Oh, shit. She's learned some mannerisms from Sunny herself. Oh, shit. Wow. So is she like a little sister to Sunny? It'd be great if she were. But the two of them aren't that close. At least not yet. It's great they have a lot of room to grow. It's great your younger members have room to grow. You must be proud seeing them improve, right? I suppose that's one way to look at it. Frustration might be a sign of progress then. <laughs> have you ever considered training others? I think you might have an aptitude for it. Here, have a look. This is Yana. <gasps> oh, she's pretty. You weren't lying about her being pretty. She's pretty. You know, pretty. this doesn't really look like a picture of a boss and his subordinate. She's a huge fan of yours, ain't she? Well, yes, she does admire me. But that's where the root of the problem lies. It's very likely that she doesn't want to make any mistakes in front of me, so she keeps asking me for direction. So that's the deal with all the phone calls. Up until this point, all she had to do was follow my orders without having to think twice. That's a bad idea. However, the moment Sunny and I stepped out of the picture, she's had to think for herself and make her own decisions. To keep both Komi Jewel and the Liu Meng running as they are, she can't afford to take a short break. Yana has to learn just how much effort it takes for these groups to assert their authority within Yijincho. I do feel a little sorry for her, though. I mean, you kind of dumped all this on her, right? Is that truly the case? Huh? You never know what will happen in our world. One day, you might just lose those you've relied on. I believe that I've given her an ample opportunity to steal herself for such a situation, should it ever come to pass. Whether they like it or not, the ones who will come to inherit our legacy are those of future generations. It is my hope that she emerges from this situation a little more hardened. Damn. It's an excuse to come to Hawaii. <laughs> that was just an excuse to come to Hawaii, right? I doubt you would have been able to tag along otherwise. I'm a little hurt you would say that. Have you been looking at me with suspicion this whole time? Yes. I have no reason to lie about any of this. 
It's true that the young need more opportunities for growth. Now, if I just so happen to be enjoying some drinks with a friend here in Hawaii, then that's merely a happy coincidence. Sounds like Yuna's got herself a great boss. Back when I was under Captain Sawashiro, he either beat you senseless or yelled at you. You're the better option, Jungi. Like, way better. Because, you know, the captain would never want a picture with me. Did you want one with Sawashiro? <laughs> I'd pay good money to see that. Oh, do we not have a single picture with Sawashiro? No, That's a little I awkward. About taking one before, but, but I mean, yeah, understandable. Doubt either of us would be happy with that kind of photo. Speak of the devil. Another call from Yana. Pardon me, I have to take this. You know, for all his talk about wanting her to be more independent, he sure does dote on her. Guess I'll wrap it up here, all by myself. All by myself. Don't wanna be. Hey, Jungi, what's up? What's up, Jungi? Hello again, Kasuga-san. Huh. Oh, apologies. One second. Come on, seriously? Is that Yuna again? Well, she really does call you for every little thing, huh? Excuse me? What did you just say? Huh? What did As you just say? Speak? Dickwashers are a real How thing? You be so selfish. Unbelievable. So you're already here? Hold what? Up. Yana's in Hawaii? I'm at a bar with my friends right now. I've mentioned it to you before. A place called Revolve. Yana, where are you right now? I suppose I'll come fetch you myself. Sounds like you've got trouble. Exactly as you heard. Yona abandoned her duties in Ijincho and came to Hawaii. To think she'd leave her post just like that. But you're still gonna meet with her, right? She's probably feeling real lonely right now, so let's hurry and bounce, man. Yes, Yona truly is a beauty. I'm sure you're excited to meet her and all, but... Come on, let's talk later, Jungi. Can't leave a lady waiting for long. What a handful. You're meeting Yana here, right? So, uh, where are we getting double frost? How strange. Perhaps she got lost along the way. No! Get your hands off me! I'm already with someone! What the hell? Get away from me, you creeps! I'm not that kind of girl! Oh, come on, baby girl. Don't be like that. Just one drink. How about it? Oh, Jungi Neem, over here! Jungi Neem? Hey, let's hurry and help her out. Uh, uh Jungi? What's going on here? She doesn't need our intervention. <laughs> In fact, she can take care of this situation herself. This is all an act. What? But still, I... Help me, Jungi Neem! I'm so scared! Jungi Neem? Get hang in there, Yana! We're on our way! Hey, the girl's with us. Sorry, but you mind leaving her alone? Jungi Neem, I'm so glad you came. Uh, Yana, everything's gonna be all right. I'm here to help too. And who's this? Yeah, I assumed it was a Korean suffix. I don't know Korean suffixes you though, Prince so I don't know Charming. like how formal, how Yo, personal what am I, it is liver? to say that. Excuse me, gentlemen, but that girl works for me. So Very it's like the appreciate it it's the equivalent of San. Hey, now, we just want an hour of the time. Okay. You fellas can come on by and pick her up later. But she probably won't be able to walk straight by then. Catch my drift. I don't think they're asking her for a dance. Neither do I. Fortunately, it would appear that negotiations are off the table. Oh gosh! To think Jungi Neem would fight for my honor! You guys just gonna keep standing <laughs> She in sounds like a simp for Jungi right, and fine. honestly super based. Let's see you block this! <laughs> How the hell? Now listen here, pal. You've been giving me the silent treatment this whole time, but come swinging my way? I think twice about that shit, man. Cause that seriously pisses me off. You son of a bitch! You're fucking dead, you hear me? 
You if they're more specific, I don't know much about them. I guess I'll just have to do like some research. Oh right, I'm really drunk. Um, I'm very drunk. You know what? You know who's not drunk? Akiyama. No, uh, Date? Date and a chopper? Akiyama? I love Akiyama. Here's the one. I love him. You're after? In that case, have a ball. I love him. Look at his kicks go. Woo woo. Woo kick. Woo kick. Woo kick. Woo kick. Still not enough. Money isn't everything, you know. Yeah, money isn't everything, chat. Hurry, somebody and donate a thousand dollars, please. Thank you. I would like to fund another dancing video. <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> On to the next level. No, but really. Yeah, yeah, like Akiyama is the infinite oh, wealth of this game. There it is. Yana, to attention. Sir, yes, sir. Hey, what's going on here, Jungi? Yona's not a girl who'd be held up by these sort of men. She should have been able to take them out without our aid. I've trained her myself. Am I wrong, Yona? No, not at all. I was just ecstatic you came to my rescue. Oh my god. Uh -huh. Yona likely calculated how long we would take to get here and planned for those men to hit on her by the time we arrived. The unlucky fools. They had no clue they were being played. How pitiful. So basically, you're saying she did all this just so you could save her? Was I correct, Yona? Oh, you know me so well. I knew it. I just can't live without you, Opa. Dude, what's her deal? Opa? Did you seriously let this girl take the wheel? I did. Though I'm starting to suspect that I made the wrong call. be so cruel you have to hear me out kasuga-san i was trying to do my best i really was oh is the internet okay, taking a shit right now take a deep breath for me Yana. i can pause for a second let it let it uh let it stabilize a minute i am happy it seems like it hasn't gotten terrible today like i i have some internet hiccups here and there but it doesn't seem all that bad like the hiccups themselves i don't know i guess i'm not the one watching the stream so i don't know it's, it's hard for me to tell <clears throat> Money isn't everything me to the tax and fine collectors. Oof, don't get in trouble. Okay, the internet is now stable. Now, who's being cruel here? Who else but Junki Neem? He shot me a message saying he was heading to Hawaii, and all of a sudden I'm in charge. There's no way I could handle all that, but he went ahead and left me behind anyway, without a word. How could you after all I've done for you? You know I'd do anything just to stay at your side. Regardless, do you think it's permissible to leave your post without further notice? Not to mention Sonny isn't there either. So who exactly is looking after both groups as we speak? <laughs> Hyun's taking care of it now. I figured it'd be a great chance for that pushover to grow a backbone. Oh, Kihun, you say? What, their problem? Something up with Kihun? Oh, no, not at all. He's just incredibly fond of Yana and would do whatever she'd say. I wouldn't call him unreliable, per se, so perhaps she made the right call. You made sure you executed a proper handover of authority to Kihun then, correct? Yes, of course. I shot him a message saying I was heading to Hawaii and that I left him in charge. <laughs> the exact same thing you did! Oh, God. Why, you presumptuous little... <laughs> Really following in her boss's footsteps, this Oh one. my god. Listen, Yona, my situation is different from yours. Did you really think such a selfish act would be permitted? Why wouldn't it be? Excuse me? What makes you say that? 
The problem at hand is that I came to Hawaii without your permission, right? But you're the one who came to Hawaii without Sunhee's permission. Oh my god! Uh, uh, hold up. I thought he came out here because Sunhee ordered him to. Bro, did you actually come here without telling her? Again, our circumstances are completely different. They're totally the same. You think so too, right, Kasuga? Hey, Jungi, are you for real? That's kind of messed up, man. <gasps> it's not kind of messed up, man. Oh, okay. <laughs> this is obviously getting to you. Look, since I was the one managing both organizations, <laughs> my decision to leave Yona in charge should not be an issue. Also, Sunny and Zhao both ran off with Kyria-san without telling me. It's not fair that they get to dump all the boring work on me. Uh-huh. I think so, too. That's why I'm here in Hawaii. Whatever you think, that's not your call to begin with. Come on, that's not fair. Why do I get all the boring work? Diana, is that your phone? Uh, it's probably just Kihun. He's been calling me nonstop. Oh my god! <laughs> Hello? What do you want, Kihun? Huh? Say what now? <sighs> Wonderful. What happened this time? Why the heck are you in Hawaii? What makes you think you can leave your post like that? So Kihun's here too? Oh, this is absurd. <laughs> what the hell's going on with the Komi jewel? This shit is nuts. Um, what should we do, Jungi Nim? Kihun's asking if we could pick him up. Seriously? What is wrong with you people? Why must you all be so selfish? <laughs> Come on, man. Take a look in the mirror. <laughs> oh no, you had to do Jungi on like that, no. <laughs> I liked that one. That was a good drink link. So, everything good now, Jungi? Yes, it's all settled. Yana and Kihun are returning to Japan. I even spoke with Sunny myself. Nice. What'd she say? She knew about everything, even without me telling her a word. <laughs> Nothing gets by the queen of Gomiju. <laughs> she told me that instead of wasting time, I should focus on doing what needs to be done in Hawaii. She even provided me with a cover by telling my subordinates that I went to Hawaii under her orders. Oh, nice save. Real talk, she's damn good at what she does. I guess you have to think fast when you're the boss. You do. I was rather hoping she'd scold me, since it's been some time. A shame she didn't. Uh-huh. <laughs> this coming from the guy who wasn't looking too hot a while ago. But still... <laughs> You what? came all the way here to help without getting her permission. You've got balls, man. <laughs> Once I caught wind, you had gone to Hawaii. I started gathering I didn't know that Junhi was it. into that, but okay. Eventually, I learned what Palikana was and figured you might be stuck trying Interesting. to get to the island. The moment I wrapped up my investigation, I found myself on a plane to Hawaii. Truth be told, I felt a rush of excitement when all that went down. To think that I could once again fight at your side. To be called your worthy ally once more. Chungi. Though I, I never imagined you would ever bear witness to that shameful display. <sighs> Such Damn, an buddy. embarrassment. I do apologize for all that. I know you always keep a cool head, but hey, it doesn't hurt to let loose sometimes, yeah? <laughs> so what if you got a few weak points? We'll be there to cover them. That's what friends are for. And obviously, the more time we spend together, the more sides we'll see of each other. This lecture of yours is actually getting through to me today. <laughs> well, in that case, I'll let you off the hook. For now. Not really my thing to nag my friends and all. His drinks taste better when we're both having one hell of a time. Right, I'll drink to that. After all, the two of us are friends. Thanks for being there, Ichiban. Anytime, man. Cheers. So basically what I just learned is that if I throw Junki at a wall, he's going to like it. If I just like you know, just, just like manhandled him. He'd be into that is what I just learned. I will sing karaoke to that. <laughs> Guess it's my turn. 
I mean, look, I'm a simp for Junki, okay? I'm a simp, I'm a simp. And we're gonna go with, oh, what song? I'm only gonna do one song. I only did summer group, summertime group like once, I think. I thought I did switch. I, I thought we did switch to JP. I, I, I'm pretty sure I heard all the songs in Japanese. I wish this was Zhao's. <laughs> all right, we'll do summertime group. Oh, I haven't done this song since we got Adachi back. Bros, man, true bros. Those are the boys. That those, those are the boys. <laughs> oh, that was lovely. Damn, you should have gone pro. I love that song. I I feel like all of the new songs are actually banger. I don't understand. All right, Chitose, let's go. I just gotta change it to I, I um at night. Okay. Machine Gun Kiss is amazing. As much as I do love- what the hell just happened to me? As much as I do love Adachi's uh, Machine Gun Kiss, I still- I'd still vastly prefer the original. It's a good time. He really doesn't miss, I fucking love it. Every time, dude, every time. Oh wait, I have to be friends with a cow. Wait, where's the cow? Is the cow not here during the nighttime? I guess the cow is not here. What's with the stick? What's with the stick? Good dog, good dog. Oh, damn. The night sky's beautiful here. So different from Japan. The universe is incredible, isn't it? What's up? You sound depressed or something. No, it's not like that. Too. Just imagining what it'd be like to go to space. You never get tired, do you? Hero first, astronaut next. Being an astronaut is probably way harder than being a hero, too. You don't just need to be in shape. 
You need perfect communication skills. Right. You're working with people from other countries, after all. Can't risk any gaffes, yeah. Have to keep the air clear. Which is hard, since there's no air in space. <laughs> ah, I gotta say, Adachi-san, that one was rough. Even for you. Oh, come on, it wasn't that bad. <laughs> Bro. Thanks for trying to clear the air down here, Ichiban. This ain't a side show. All right, Chitose. Oh, this is a very romantic spot to talk to her. I like this. Okay. <gasps> Quick! Ichiban, over here! I found us the perfect spot! Oh, just look at the sky! It's Are we gonna see a shooting out. star? She mentioned they were visible here. So, you've come up with a wish yet? Um, uh, I did think of something, but... Don't want to say it three times fast? You remember, but yeah, I don't know if I can really pull it off. These stars go by in a flash. <sighs> Afraid I might choke in the heat of the moment. Could happen. Pre-record it and play it back at high speed. How about I say it for you? No, I'm just kidding. No, I, I actually, you yes. To say your wish for you? I'm pretty good at tongue twisters. I think I can fire one off pretty quick. <laughs> but then my wish would just come true for you instead. Oh, true. Oh, right. Well, well, no, then I'll include four Chichan at the end. <laughs> You'd sacrifice a wish for me? That's too big a price to pay. That's no. very romantic. <laughs> But I could lend a hand. I know. Thanks for looking out for me. You're real sweet, you know that? Uh, not yes, a single yes, shooting I am. star yet. The sky sure is great, though. Yeah. Guess the rumors might not be true after all. I was really hoping to see one. <sighs> well, let's go. No point in wasting any more time. Hold up. Before that. Whoa. Oh, well, how about that? Now there's shooting stars everywhere you look. But that's a firework. That's not the, the same thing. They're spectacular. I wish that I could. <laughs> I did it. I said my wish, Ichiban. I'm so happy. Hey, good for you. And what a Damn. perfect backdrop up there. Want me to take your picture? You should be in it, too. Let's commemorate wishing on a star. Oh. Thank you, Ichiban. I'll treasure this pick forever. And the many more to come. Yeah. That's so cute. As many as the stars in the sky. That's so cute. Way too young for Ichi. Shut the fuck up. I hate when people are like that. Blech. She's fine and she's great. Be jealous. Just keep being jealous. Do I go to Dondoko Island now? Man. Y'all, the plot is right there. And we're done. Like, I, I think I've done everything that I can. I've, I've done. <sighs> what I could do is I could keep on. I could like max out my bond level with everybody. We, we could do that. I don't know if I get anything, actually. Hello? I know that, that now that I know who the Amon guy is. Um, so now that I know that that guy exists. I think he said I need to get Kiryu's bond level to like 100 in order Why, to. Uh, is she? Oh, I can't skip. Okay. Uh, in order to uh, see him again? That's what he said. So, I gotta, I gotta do that. Let's enjoy ourselves. But that's on the Kiryu side of things. Not on the Ichiban side of things.
Thank you very much. And now I'm very drunk again. I am jealous because I'm not Ichiban and she's not real. Chitose, I'm sure, is real. I'm sure there is a real Chitose out there somewhere. You just gotta go find her. You know? I don't think- I can't do any more mismatch. Like, I got all of the matches on mismatch. I've done all of Dondoko Island. I've done all of Crazy Delivery. I've done all of Sicko Snap. I've done all of Sujimon. I have not done Shogi. I gambled a little bit. Uh, yes, yeah, Sujimon's done. The Labyrinth is done. I have done everything in this game. Everything. Mahjong I haven't done. We could we could do some Mahjong. But yeah, I even done the vocational school. The school is done. This is weird. I I've done everything. Like I have no excuse. I have to do the plot now. I have no excuse. Uh Is there something I'm missing? I guess um Let's see. Are we missing any sub stories? Oh. Wait, what the hell? There's like five sub stories. There's five! But I've done everything! What 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 am I supposed to do? That's a lot. What So what what am I supposed to do to get these? Fuck if I know, man. You have to talk to some people associated with mini games. Okay. Okay, I can do that. I can do that. Let me just, like, buy Thank some gift much. items, because I think what we need is, like, uh, gift items, correct? Because, like, I, I think I need to give them gifts. Do is there really sub-stories behind this shit? Because, bro, I need to get all the sub-stories in this game. Yeah, no, 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 I'm, a I'm actually asking chat. Yeah, you don't need to, you don't need to clean up shop. Do I need to make friends to get another sub story? Because like, look, I just made two more friends. Is this another thing that I should be doing? So yeah, I don't want to miss any sub stories. This is a no missing sub stories channel. And there are five more. Aloha. Okay, so I have to give more people presents. Look at this beautiful painting in this Thanks postcard assortment. Wow, that's crazy. That's, that's, that's crazy. <sighs> Each girlfriend has their own sub story. Okay. Um. Oh yeah, it, the aloe happy girl. But that's the thing, though. Nothing came out of it. I gave every Aloha. gift. I gave I gave three gifts to the girl at Aloe Happy, and then I can't talk to her anymore. But nothing came out of that. I was really weirded out by that. Like I didn't get a sub story from that girl. Hey. Hi. Aloha. I have to fi wait. I actually have to finish the photo thing for that. No, you can't be. You can't be serious. Maybe, maybe there's something I'm missing there. Then, fuck. Okay. Welcome. 
Large pot blueprints? I can't believe I never bought that. Thank you very much. No, you don't have to? Okay, so I don't need to do the photo things. That's cool. Hawaiian food's amazing. I'm craving tea over rice. Mm-hmm. Classic case of missing Japanese food -itis. Hold on, I'm just going to like all the shops and buying everything I can. I told myself I'd only eat local cuisine on this trip. Shitan, did you go through this at all? Mm-hmm. For me, it was miso soup. Damn, I completely get that. Nothing here is quite as soupy. There are Japanese restaurants here. I tried going to one. They had onigiri too. But all the fillings were like avocado or cheese or spam. Yeah. Well, that came out well. Oh no, did I just cut off the conversation? Fuck. Aloha. It's too late for me. It's too late. Hold on. Wait, that's beer. Thank you for stopping. Unlocked all the jobs? Um, I mean, there was no more I could get. I don't know if I'd be missing one. I I wouldn't know that. Uh, I've done what I could. I don't know how I would unlock another job. Maybe I should just go back to Aloe Happy and see what they say. We could just go back and start there. Uh, Poppy, thank you so much for the $5 donation. I appreciate it. Alrighty. I'm just getting like everything a little bit here. Even dog food. Yeah, I'll just I'll just keep talking to people. Um so let's see, let's see. So I just need to get all the gifts first, I think. Cause there was uh, I tried to give Miss Match a gift and I don't remember what it was, but I did not I did not have it, so gonna quickly buy what I can. Yeah. I've done all of Sujimon. Uh, the, the, the Sujimon sub-stories are done. I'm like genuinely upset that I'm still missing out on five sub-stories. Bitch, I have done so much in this game. <laughs> what do you mean I'm not done? All right, looks like this small, this area, I'm, I'm friends so with big. a lot of people. Um, I have a very high tolerance. Good for you, Joongi. That's great. I'm gonna go to this Aloha. pharmacy and see if there's anything here. The answer is Thank no. <laughs> I just bodied Joongi, I'm so sorry. The world market. Okay, we're we're going here apparently. Are you ever done in Yakuza? Dude, I have been trying my best to do everything in this game. I really thought I did everything. And then I see five sub stories not done and I'm like gonna, going fucking crazy. Aloha. Thank you. Okie dokie. Let's see. I think it was from an ABC store, the one I'm looking for. I think I'm looking for the gift sub. The infinite wealth is infinite. I do have a lot of money. I really hope there's not a sub story tied behind being friends with everybody in this game. Because aren't there like 300 people you could be friends with? And I still got a long ways to go with the fucking cow, too. Aloha. Oh, I do have the ABC store gift set. Thank Damn, you. what did Mismatch want? Yeah. It's something I, I still don't think I have the thing that she wanted, though. The pawn shop is not gonna have what I want. You know what? I guess we'll just go to, um... We'll go to the store right here, and then we'll go see what Mismatch wanted. Crazy, 
I know Yakuza series is loaded with content, dude. It really fucking is. It's crazy. Oh. Okay. Hawaiian cosmetics. Yeah, I already had two of those. Thank you, man. Did she come? God damn it, mismatch. Welcome. Give a present. Oh, beer gift set. Aloha beer gift set. Where, uh, chat, do you know where I'm getting the beer gift set? Is it here? Hmm. <clears throat> Yamai can visit Don Doko. Don't worry about the semantics. Yes, he can. Yes. <laughs> Off we go. Don't just don't worry about it. don't have what I Thank want to. God damn it. I've gone to like every shop. Loco Fiesta liquor store? Oh, Jesus. Is there a way uh, like to toggle? Okay. There we go. Loco Fiesta liquor. This place? <clears throat> Easiest video game of my life. Getting people gifts. Damn. Man, then this is where I started, too. Oh, aloha. oh, this guy! There you are, there you are. Give me all that. Fancy sake? Give me that. Beer? Yeah, give me that. I just... Thanks, very Oh god. I still need to buy from you one more time to be your friend. Okay, now I can go back to mismatch. And check in with Aloe Happy. I'm doing what I can. Dom is bothering us. I will be right back. Here, can I leave you guys with music? Wait, no, 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 no. There you go. I will be right back. Be good, or else. Oh my gosh, Dom just literally wanted to give me hot chocolate. This was made into a whole, whole ordeal. <laughs> but he's sweet, he got me hot chocolate. This is like leftover hot chocolate from, from yesterday. This is a great song to have with like a good hot chocolate. Sure. You could say it was a whole deal. Okay, bro. <laughs> ah! Okay. Mismatch, I have your gifts. Welcome. Give a present. Sup? <laughs> okay. Welcome. Hmm. Someone's stuck in a rut. Maybe try something different for a change. See things from a new perspective. Maybe I ought to smoke a different brand of cigarettes. 
Okay. I have, I, yeah, I do have that. What's up? Oh. Okay. Oh, now there's a sub story. Hello. Aren't you simply amazing? You're the app's number one <laughs> user. You have become quite the lady killer, haven't you? Oh, how wicked. Gee, I wasn't trying for all that. All I wanted was to practice my communication skills. We'll leave it at that, then. Frankly, darling, I doubt there's anyone left in our user base that could keep up with you. Have you match- have your matches seemed lacking lately? Dude! There's a fucking chicken! Hmm? No. Don't be coy, I'm certain you're no longer satisfied with that rabble. An attractive man like yourself, someone so advanced in the dating world, needs a partner equally as experienced. As the provider of a service, of course, it's my job to cater even to our most exceptional clients. Customer satisfaction and all. Eh, uh, no, it's all right, really. I'm plenty satisfied. You don't have to worry about that. <laughs> Shh, boy. I'll have you signing, singing a different tune soon enough. Now, what do you say I find you the perfect partner? Doesn't that sound enticing? She never misses. Oh, boy. I've made a living in the matchmaking industry for decades, lover boy. If I tell you I know the perfect woman for you, I mean it. Does the thought not tickle your fancy? I guess you'd be, uh, I'd be lying if I said it didn't. And this woman I speak of, she happens to be someone you know quite well. And I know for a fact that you've shown great interest in her. She's someone who's seen you at your most vulnerable. She must mean in battle. Could it be Chi-chan or song Hee or maybe Sacha? An elegant and lovely Japanese woman whose name ends in a soft, delicate ko. Etsuko? She's got to be talking about Sayako. That it is Sachan. Watch goes a brilliant matchmaker. All this time, she must have been looking into my background for the girl I love most in this world. Machiko, you're amazing. Well, have I convinced you? Still feeling, uh, hesitant? This woman isn't going to wait forever, you know. She's your perfect match, but even she can't waste her time on indecision. Let's meet, let, let me meet her. I'm very, very convinced. That's what I like to see in a man. Thank you, Machiko-san. Did you really bring her all the way here? Anything for you, you elegant bachelor. You only ever you only ever had to be honest with me. Now, let's not allow another moment to go unconsummated. You head to the hotel and I'll handle yes. the rest. I can finally tell Sachan how I feel the right way. Oh god. Oh no. I wish I had wine for this moment, but I have hot chocolate and stuff. <gasps> I'm still nervous. That just means it's right this time. Yep, oh boy. Sachan! Oh, come in! It's so good to see you, Sachan! Uh, Miss Match? Is Sachan with you? Sachan? Who on earth is that? It's time to stop asking about anyone else. I've brought you your perfect partner. Um, but, Miss Match, you came alone. Oh, shush you. Time to stop playing naive, you cruel tease. What? Playing hard to get? The woman you long for, whom you've totally been open with? Whose name ends in a soft, delicate code? Wait, I think I misunderstood. Uh, before, uh, I thought you meant... It's Machiko! What? Miss Match! Machiko, son, before we do this, please listen to me. You know I love somebody else. Oh, enough with that already. You've been playing around for how long? There's no going back. And after all of it, you've become the most urbane, distinguished gentleman I've ever known. Now, let's make a match. Oh, God. Do not tell me she's like the series new, like, Etsuko. Uh, I knew from the moment we met you were special. The only man who could satisfy me. 
<laughs> Ta-ta for now, Ichiban darling. Remember, you can always come see me for some customer service. Till next time, playboy. Dating apps can really suck you in. Everybody, pay F for respects for Ichiban. The man has, uh, he's been through a lot. <gasps> to say the least. We love you, buddy. Ukuleles are the best. They're so much fun. Do you know where the word ukulele comes from? Huh? Comes from oh, something? yes. Uh, it yeah, was in the vocational yeah. school test. Hawaiian. Uh, how about a quiz? It was in the vocational hmm. school test, and I don't Rising remember the answer. Wave or jumping flea? Oh, it's jumping Which flea. Which do you think ukulele means? It's jumping flea. It's gotta be flea. Gotta be the flea. Oh, you got it. Nice one, Ichiban. Mm -hmm. Hey, I knew it was that? something like really fucking why, why weird. Why flea, though? Makes me feel itchy. Supposedly, your fingers look like jumping fleas while you're strumming one. Why not a cricket instead? I could have called it a cricolele. Cricolele? It's good. Alright, I gave you all the gifts. Oh, give a present? Uh. Oh! Wait, I could have sworn I gave her this! What? I feel like an idiot. I feel like I, I thought I gave her everything. Is something wrong, Elizabeth? You seem kind of depressed. I shouldn't be making a face around clients. Well, even if I am feeling depressed, I bet I still look cute. <laughs> What's the matter? Hmm. I wanted to get a parting gift for a friend who's moving. I have postcards. Yeah, I okay. So what? Okay. Let's try this again. Oh, sub story. Okay, I got it. Damn, I thought I already did this. I could have sworn I gave her like three gifts already. It seems you've completed every last one of our activities. Did I? Guess I got so caught up in the fun of it, I didn't realize I've done them all. How does it feel to have done so many things in Hawaii? <laughs> oh, there's a lot you could do so do here. Stuff you'd never find in Japan. Plus, this place has so much unique culture. I can see why it's such a popular destination. Well said, and thank you. It pleases me to know that we've helped you enjoy your time around here. I should be thanking you, Elizabeth. Hawaii's been a blast because of you. Oh, goodness. You're so sweet. Maybe I can return a little of that? Oh, God, no. <laughs> Want to know a secret? There's actually one activity left. It's my personal favorite activity. Not even our VIPs get to try it. Unless I'm feeling adventurous. Does that sound appealing to you? I wouldn't charge you. In fact, it'd be a huge trouble <laughs> if I did. Allo Happy, lead us to the place where the magic okay. happens. Oh god, damn it. <laughs> I want to die. Um, is this the place? What kind of activity are we doing? <laughs> You want to know what you'll be doing? Well, it's me, silly. Excuse me? I'm doing you. Huh? You couldn't hear me? Uh, okay, let's try this again. <clears throat> you are gonna be doing me. I, I don't get it. God, you're so dense. Listen up. I'm saying we're gonna have a wild time in bed. Do I have to spell it out for you? Wait, what? Maybe. At first I thought you were some klutzy, dangerous oaf. But while watching you engage in our activities with the passion of a young, eager stallion, oh my God. I couldn't help but be enthralled. And now my heart's beating out of control. It won't stop. Will you help me tame it? Hey, I appreciate your feelings, but there's already someone special in my heart. Oh my god, is that true? Yeah, Scout's Honor. In that case, I guess... I'm cool with that. You are? 
Sure. Girl. What's so bad about a one night stand? At the very least, it's exercise. D did you hear a word I just said? Okay, guess not. <laughs> We're not doing this here. He's just running. He just Hold runs on. away. Ah! Ah! Happy? Now. Hello, happy. Oh my Hello, god, happy. no. Out of the way. Hello, happy. <laughs> Hello, happy. Our guests with world class experiences unique to Hawaii. And the memories will make a last a lifetime. So, you ready to taste my hospitality? Oh my god. Say it with me. Let's make each other Hello, happy. Hello, happy. Run. Just run. Just run. Oh god. In a public space. Holy hula kahuna. What just happened? That was a splendid activity, don't you think? Now you've truly experienced the full range of what Hawaii has to offer. Hello Happy Tours will continue to rely on your loyal patronage. Well then, until next time. <laughs> you know, Ichiban could really use next that dick washer time. we were talking about. Never knew these Hawaiian tours could be so hands-on or in-depth. <sighs> Damn. Okay. So, I don't know what other sub-stories I'm missing. Uh, I talked to those two. Is there a crazy taxi one? So we're still missing 50, 51, and 52. I did get honk honked. Oh my god. Wait, I never got, like, all the honks. Internet's going pee pee poop. Should Toe say one? I don't know. Wait, where is she? Julie and. Wait, who the fuck is Julie? Oh, the weapons shop, Julie. Okay. Where is Chitose, though? At the burger place? Okay. I didn't know that Chitose just chilled there. Can't wait to see the new stuff you come up with. <laughs> Something more. You're already doing plenty. I won't keep you from your studies. Good luck. Hey. You two seem to be having fun. Oh, the rough. Look. Hey. Oahu Burger. Got it. I'll be there after this. Thanks, chat. I rarely see Julie so comfortable with someone else. In fact, this may be a first. It's nice to see you talking to somewhat to something other than a socket wrench. Don't make it sound like I'm some kind of freak. I only mean to say you're normally wary of other p opening up to people. Huh, perhaps you've taken a liking to Kasuga up on the rough. What? I'm not hearing this. Yeah, be careful. This girl's no pushover. Where you're wading into dangerous waters with her. Excuse me. I'll be going. I prefer my head as it is. <laughs> Don't listen to anything he says. He just likes getting a rise out of people. <laughs> Welcome. Shado, thank you so much for the nine, seven month resub. I appreciate it. <laughs> I can't, I can't uh, talk. Wow. Hibiscus bouquet. Okay, I'm glad that we have so it. What? Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, Julie is attractive though. She, she is. Welcome. Hmm. All right, she wants more flowers. I got so all the flowers. What? <laughs> <laughs> all right. Welcome. Chat again. <sighs> hmm. Skin's been drying out. Oh god. Hawaiian cosmetics. I got it. So what? <laughs> you trying to say something, old man? <laughs> no. Welcome. What is it now? Wait, what? Come back again. Do I have to leave and come back? What are you staring at? 
Welcome. What is it now? Oh. Come back again. Uh. Maybe she'll call me or something. <clears throat> you like the school receptionist? Oof. I guess she's cute. She's That's not cute, an emblem cute. thing. I'm just huge. Julie's best girl makes me want to do stuff with my hands. Oh, damn. Get it, girl. Live your best life. Storm, thank you so much for the tier one sub. I really appreciate it. I hope that you enjoy the emotes. Dude, this guy is still... Whoa! I can keep on getting employee meals here? Why is everyone screaming? Hmm. Okay. Jesus. All right. Um. Where the f you guys said uh, Oahu Burger? Where the fuck? Uh. Oh, there. Uh. Okay. There. There it is. I did not know that Chitose was here the whole game. What? I had no idea. She sends me a text. Oh, I'm really bad at reading texts. It's just like real life. Video calls still get me nervous, even when it's with. Friends. Oh, there she is. It's just not the same as talking face to face. Well, you'll get used to it after a while. So you'll mess up a lot less too. Carrie's love up? camp. Oh, boy. Oh, hey, this was back when I was working at the company. Now I was uh, feeling a sneeze well up, so I figured I'd go on mute. Sounds like good online etiquette to me. Thing is, my computer was muted all the way up until then. <laughs> so you thought you had your mic on the whole time, but oh, in no, reality, Adachi. a guy that was silent throughout the entire meeting ended up sneezing at full. Uh, what's worse is I didn't even notice till the end. I'd be like, what is wrong with this guy? And they could see my face too, completely oblivious. Be careful with your mics, folks. From now on, I will think of your face whenever I sneeze, Adachi son. Oh, <laughs> tell this me. Is it. I came out well. Anytime I hear a sneeze, I'll think of a dodgy. <laughs> Have you heard? I haven't heard. Hamburgers are good for your health. Oh, damn it. Really? Hello. I don't believe you. Let me let me test that theory. Time ready. <laughs> this thing is bursting with green for a hamburger. Well, yeah, it's an avocado burger. It's healthy, it's tasty, and the sauce hits the spot. True, the avocado does have some kick. Man, even a bit of heft. <laughs> uh, Adachi, wrong, Adachi, what son? was that? Like <laughs> no, the burger's great. It's just that I've always thought guacamole was pronounced guacamole. And only just realized it. Now. Guacamole. Uh, I mean, that's sure valid. I've guacamole my whole life. Damn it all. The ending hey, sounds like it looks like guacamole. Down. At least you noticed eventually, right? I, I don't oh, blame Adachi for that one. English fucking sucks. To do an avocado quiz. <clears throat> Here we have the avocado, a vegetable, or a fruit. Oh no, is it a vegetable? Uh, you're asking as if I knew shit. Just ask Kasuga. I don't know. I'll knock it off with the attitude, Adachi-san. Um, but now that I think about it, it's a vegetable. Which is it? It's a vegetable. Vegetable. Am I right? I don't know. Wrong. Oh, fuck. Sorry. It's a fruit. Seriously? <laughs> yeah, I knew this that. This is a fruit? Wouldn't have guessed. Well, in some countries, it might be considered a vegetable. But at least what? in Japan, it's, it's a It's different from country to country? Well, tomatoes are oh, that's bullshit! a vegetable or fruit, depending on the country. I thought avocados were a vegetable. Everything I ever knew was a damn lie. That, me, oh, I'm with no. Adachi, man. It made it worse. Hey, cheer up. I'm with the truly really stop learning in life. I feel like my I, life is a I've lie. I've a ton of new things since I got here. Just think of it as earning more EXP. Kasuga. <laughs> ah, you got some work in you. You're right. I should keep my chin up. Now that's the spirit of Dachi san Such passion. All because of some avocado. 
So, let's get smart and chow down on some health food. I'm going all in on this burger with extra guacamole. Guacamole. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, so close. I knew it. I'm a wreck. I really do not blame Adachi <sighs> for that. So I never really hard. thought about how it's called guacamole. But you really, it's like, it's like pronouncing the word salmon. You're not going to know how to pronounce salmon based off of reading it. Or that's how a lot of English is. It's like, it's so stupid how you pronounce some fucking words. If I didn't hear somebody say guacamole, I would never, like, I would read it like guacamole. Because you, you really would nice. think. My plate. Colonel? Colonel's a good Thanks one. Hey, what's up, Chitose-san? Oh, Mr. Kasuga. I just wanted to take this opportunity to thank you for your patronage. Allow me to reintroduce myself. I'm Chitose Buster Holmes from Poundmates, Honolulu. She's Chitose Buster right, yeah. Holmes. You guys are always Wait, I just realized, is it on purpose that you she has the same hair as Chitose? Like, Correct. She has the three blonde braids on the side of her head, the same as Chitose. Our Chitose. She's supposed to be the We're same? We're running a special promotion. We hope you'll accept this. I never picked up on that until now. I know that's like... The, I know that's supposed to be like how we found her, you know, we're, we're tracking down Chitose and it ends up being wow, a great. different Chitose. I know Mates that, really but like, I didn't, I didn't look at huh? the hair. Let's keep taking on the world together, Chitose-san. Oh. <laughs> anyway, see you around. I feel like an idiot. Take on the world with me. She's into it. Okay. All right, Chitose. Chat. Wow. Flowers. She wants hibiscus bouquet. I got it. Stop. Oh. Hmm. Oh. Shave ice. I have that. Yep. I got so it. I got it. Oh. You want this Chitose as a party member? I want Yamai as a party member. But he's probably going to be in jail forever now, which hmm. sucks ass. Makeup. Wow. Okay. I do have Hawaiian cosmetics. So oh. Yeah. Don't hesitate to call me. Wait, that's it? Oh. Okay, so I maxed out Julie and I maxed out Chitose. And now I'm not sure what to do. <laughs> oh. About future services. Ichiban's interactions with women all led to him getting hit on. I know. Like, Ichiban gets no bitches until he gets all of the bitches. Hey. Sup, Chitose? Oh, Mr. Kasuga! Together forever. Oh, Jesus. You said you wanted to talk, so I swung oh, yes. by. But doing it here is a bit awkward. Let's go somewhere more private. Uh, sure? We need to be more private. I was in English listening comprehension class and my teacher got to Salmon and one of my classmates and I audibly said, what the fuck? Here, so this should work. I know, what so I had to, about? whenever I first met Dom, because his first language is French, whenever I first met Dom, he was saying Salmon. And I corrected him and he, his mind absolutely blown he was he was like Phew. he's like I, I never knew wait you're kidding me like it's pronounced salmon i'm like yeah like i'm sorry i know it's not your fault like english sucks you're not gonna know how to pronounce it uh he's like wait i've been saying it my whole life is salmon like he was just he was just so mind blown 
<laughs> now he understands. But yeah, whenever we were first dating and he started, we started talking a lot. He was he was really mind blown about that. Tose son. Well, the other day you told me you wanted to take on the world together, right? Oh, we're gonna oh, take on sure, the world yeah. together through sex. Is that what? So, um, I thought real hard on it. And did oh, did she think I was asking her out? And I finally made up my mind. Oh no! About what, sweetie? Well, I'm saying yes. I'm saying I'll marry you, Kasuga. Sweetie. Hell? Why does he fall really on his ass? Come true, huh? But wait, hold on a second. Ah, uh, you're not happy? Oh no no no! You, you got it all wrong. It, it's not that I'm. Happy <laughs> the guy I'm in happy. the background. Just, he walked in on that. Straight to marriage out of the blue. But you said it yourself, Mr. So you told me you wanted to take on the world together. <laughs> well, I don't remember. <laughs> oh, thanks. Hellmates really goes above and beyond. Oh, <laughs> that guy knows the, the fuck out. <laughs> oh, oh. That was the first time a man's ever said something like that to me. Oh my god, no. It was a direct hit to my heart. It was then I realized it. We're clearly meant to be together. You and me. We're getting laid by a <laughs> lot of girls in the past like Get a hold 20 of yourself, minutes. Jitose-san. Let's set this straight. But my heart's beating non-stop. Better to have loved and lost than never loved at all. Right? Right, but this is so sudden. Come oh on, God. don't be a chicken. Now, show me that Wagyu beef. Pretty please. I've never heard someone refer to their dick as Wagyu beef. Oof, my first taste of love, and it was just as delicious as I hoped. Holy hula kahuna. What the hell? Now that we're both satisfied, let's move on to marriage. <laughs> Doesn't skip so, a beat. What kind of house should we get? I definitely want a big yard for our big white puppy. Ooh, and how many kids? Oh my god. We should have enough to start our own rugby team, but I guess that's too much. <laughs> Hey, I got a level with you, Chitose-san. Yes, dear? I know I mentioned wanting to take on the world with you, but I meant that as a user of houndmates. Uh... But what I mean is... I like... Wait, wait, wait. Up. So he brings this up after they bang. Okay. Got it. Marriage or, or love. Not before. Actually, I'm already in love with someone else. You... You... How dare you? Was everything just a lie? No, that's not it. I understand how you feel, but this was clearly a misunderstanding. You toyed with me and stepped on my feelings. You're so cruel. <laughs> well, well, you don't have to. You broke my little angel's heart. Oh. <sighs> Oh no, Gary! Oh, oh no! I can give you sweet release, a release from this life. No! Why does this happen to me? Hmm. Time to go home, Angel. Farewell, Mr. Kasuga. Regardless, I do hope you'll continue to utilize our service. I may not be able to support you as your wife, but I'll always be here as your reliable pound mate. Please, don't hesitate to call me whenever you need assistance. Well then, this is goodbye. First love. First love, Jesus Christ. Okay. Actually, I could really use some help right now. Ichiba needs so much help. 
Oh boy. Okay. Oh look, the sub story popped up for Julie. Perfect. Let's go back. I'm just banging every whammon today. Here we go. Julie John, look at all this. You've come so far. I owe it to you, of course. You helped me learn everything I ever wanted to know. With all this state-of-the-art equipment, I think I'm set for the time being. Yeah? Well, guess my <laughs> He's got a lot of action. Off. Like, all at really, once. though, thank you. Also, mind you, this is also all happening after he just, like, got to see Sayako again. So, like, they had their awkward moment. And then he's like, oh, when I come back from all of this, you know, we're gonna, I wanna, I wanna say something to you. And then he goes out, has all of these, like, one night stands, and then he goes back to Psycho. <laughs> it feels like so much extra shit. I never doubted my ability, but I've always, well, been a little embarrassed about my lack of education. I never had the money or inclination to go to trade school. Even if I did, there'd be all those other people there. And I'm glad we did this. Complex problem, simple solution. Ah, uh, you know, old man, you're right. Sometimes the answer is simple. Told you there was nothing to worry about. It's win-win, like I said. Believe me, I'm satisfied. You are? Sure. Julie John, you're a young, brilliant mechanic. I'm proud to support your talent. Think of all the kids out there who have had to give up on their passions for a million different reasons. People say that's just how the world works, but, well, at my age, seeing somebody's dreams fade away breaks my heart. Hmm. Huh. If I can stop that from happening even once by supporting you, it's enough to make everything I do in my life feel worth it. Something like this means way more than money ever could. <laughs> to me, anyway. Uh, maybe I'm naive. I've never had a kid or anything. But I think, like, that's what parents must feel. Helping their children succeed. Uh -huh. Whoa. Asuka. Whoa. Julie Chan. Oh, I'm so grateful. I know you said you're satisfied, but I won't accept that. No, I'm not the kind of girl who can go on feeling like I owe you something. Oh. So listen, I told you I'd give you your money's worth, remember? Oh, Jesus. Ju Julie Chan. What the hell's gotten into you? I, uh, oh, I, I, I want to show you all the things I've read about in my books. Things I never knew were possible. <laughs> things I can only do with you. Wait, 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 what kind of books were you reading? It's my first time doing this. I might not know exactly how all the equipment works, but I'll give it all I have to make you happy. Got it, no, got it. Away. You can't just waste your first time on me. Shh, don't say anything. I've been thinking about this for so long now. Oh, you have? If I'm going to do it, I want to do it with you, old man. Oh, Julie John! Now lie down right here. I'll take off your clothes. Oh. Okay. Oh. We, we shouldn't be doing this. Damn, he actually did. Happen. Shh, it's all right. This is where I'm most comfortable. Comfortable? How could this be comfortable? Now, I'm going to start. <laughs> Julie, John, maybe, maybe we can do this somewhere else. <laughs> oh my god, that escalated! I've done a lot of research on what makes men happiest. By my calculations, this would be the most optimal way of satisfying you. Uh, what's going on? What do you mean? How are those things gonna satisfy me? Old man, you always come here looking to get stronger. I'm gonna make you feel the strongest a man can feel. What a Whoa! It's all right. It's all right. I'll be gentle. Uh, uh, Not bad for my first time. Oh You're my right. god! Complex problems, simple solution. <laughs> what the fuck? Holy hula kahuna. <laughs> well, it's a start anyway. Bodies are such fascinating chassis. <laughs> of course.
course I still She better have a dick washer. Please. Come on, let's try another experiment. Uh, hmm. I mean, could we please go again? Go again? Round two? Hmm. What the hell? Now, what else could the human body sustain? We swear, damn it! I've repaid! No, no, don't be like that! This is the future of crafting, old man! Please just craft weapons! That's way safer! Oh no, no! I warned you she was dangerous. <gasps> oh well. Bitch? What? My agility has permanently increased. What the fuck? <laughs> oh great, and now there's a sub story here. Oh my god. That's rough, buddy. Oh my god. Okay. <laughs> There's one last sub story. The last one. N number 52. Holy shit. <laughs> you know, this place is actually starting to feel like home to me. Yeah, After banging strange, four extra girls and now it feels feel. like home. I don't know about you, but I'm thirsty. Bartender, surprise me with something. As you wish. Jiton, join me? Sure. No sense drinking alone, right? Let's make it two. Hmm, my pickles have run dry. Excuse me, I'll be back shortly. Okay. Yeah, quick toilet break. Have a good one. Now everyone's gone. All right. Oh no. Come on, Ichiban. Don't leave your phone unlocked. Oh, she's gonna snoop. Me. She's gonna snoop. Honestly, who doesn't keep their phone on them? <laughs> also, wait, did I not thank you, CD Shadow, for the $5 donation? I don't know if I did or not, but thank you Ooh, if I did not. Needed that. Uh huh? Something wrong, Chichon? Ichiban, anything new happening lately? Uh, lately? Was that my phone? What's the notification say? What does Hello, it say? Hello, Ichiban. Thank you for all the fun nights lately. Your passionate side leaves me stunned. I never imagined that when first we met. Your passionate side, huh? What have you been up to? The hell? I have no idea who would have <laughs> said this to effect. me. Wait, by some chance, could it have been? Oh my god. No way! Oh, there! It finally showed up! My god, it took forever. Really, thank you so much for the donation. Like, I'm really humbled by the amount of, like, donations and support on the YouTube side, especially lately. Thank you guys so much. That's genuinely really sweet of you. It means the Look, world. Look, Ichiban, it's your private life, so I have no business telling you what to do. It's just... I thought you already had someone you cared about in Japan. Oh no, she's gonna I tell Sayako. The kind of guy who treat a woman that way. Well, I've never seen her like this crap. What do I say? I mean, I can't lie to her. I, I, I do know who this is. It's spam. It's spam. It's a it's a spam email. It's spam. It's probably from some computer farm from halfway across the world. But it says hello Ichiban. 
You know spam emails always know your first name. Those That's how they get you. Send messages out en masse. Yeah. I don't think they're writing people's names in. They are writing people's names in. Don't you know how scam emails work? That sounds right. Hello, you two. They literally, like, autofill your name. Just admit it. Like every other gaudy tourist who comes here looking for a Hawaiian side piece. Ichi Pun, you were supposed to be a better guy than this. Chicha, please. You, you got it all wrong. It's a misunderstanding. Well, this is interesting. Ichiban got this text just now. Do you have any idea what it's about? <gasps> no. 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 Oh, God. This is so exciting. I can't wait to tell Kasuka-san all about the new exams. I wonder if he'll take the second rank lore exam. Or maybe skip right to first? <laughs> this next Ella Happy activity is gonna be so much fun! I can't wait to have Mr. Kasuga try it! Talk about making great memories! Right, Ella Happy? Hello, Happy! <laughs> <laughs> this flower I found so crazy beautiful. Kasuga's gonna love it. I just know. <laughs> Look, Kasuga. I know you said you've got someone back home, but would you accept this from me? The app's next release is finally ready for beta testing. Truthfully, I owe it to him to let him test it out. Hmm, still, I could update the thing from now till doomsday. I'll never find someone better for him than me. <laughs> oh, um, Laura from the vocational school, that you? And Chitose from Palmates? And... The old lady with the dating app? Old lady, you're Aunt Fanny. I'm the one and only Machiko. Um, may I ask what's going on? It's odd that we're all running into one another. Don't know about you girls, but I've got business here. Well, me too. Huh, that's a coincidence. I came to Revolve to see... Kasuga! <sighs> Please, let's talk this over. I'll never understand you, old man. Kasuga-san, what's going on? What is all this ruckus? Since you asked. Uh, so this blonde of yours likes your passionate side? I like how Aloe Happy is just there. And after all the work I put into you, too. Maybe I should have used my soldering gun. I simply don't believe that after our tryst in the hotel, you desire anyone else. You're damaging my app's credibility. You think you can just summon me when you want and forget about me? What about our love certificate, huh? I told you I'd be open to a certain lifestyle, but, but this is way overdoing it. Okay, time timeout! Everyone, hold on! Oh, 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 you've been naughty. You're gonna pay, bub. Let's give him an activity he'll never forget. Hello, happy, if you please. Aloha! Well, why don't you strip down, old man? This time, I'll streamline functionality by removing parts. You violated the terms of service. I'm afraid I'll have to... What the fuck? To and to life. Did you know we offer such a both physical and psychological torture? I'm first rate, naturally. <laughs> you made my daughter cry. You're finished. Sweet release or soul release? What's, What's it, gonna, it be? gonna be? Oh, back off. I'm telling you all, it's a misunderstanding. This has gone way out of hand. Please calm down. For unfaithful men. There's no way to Why? Am I still 
Hello? Hello? Hmm? What are you doing down there? <laughs> Bartender, I, I'm not sure what happened. I, I remember a, a I'm not sure this needs to be in the game at all. <laughs> I woke up here. A misunderstanding. Well, must have been over something serious. <sighs> Some years back, I was involved in a shootout. At Are we really, like, putting on this music right now? <laughs> I swear to God, classic Yakuza. Fall off the roof. Things were touch and go, but I made it. Since then, I believe whatever doesn't kill you makes you stronger. You'll come back from this. I know it. <sighs> Still, though, I've got to satisfy my curiosity. What led to all this? Look, we got this weird text, then... Suddenly, every woman I know wanted to kill me. Please tell me it was from him. Um, wait a second. B do you know what this is about, bartender? He texted the wrong person. It's an ad I sent for the bar. Read the wait, rest what? Of it. What? Let me let me see this. Hello, Ichiban. Thank you for all the fun times lately. I'm shocked by your passionate side. I never imagined it when first we met. What a demon of karaoke you are. I hope you'll come sing for us again. Remember, Revolve will always leave you spinning from the fun of booze and joy of singing. We're also available for parties. Revolve will always leave you spinning from the fun of booze and joy of singing. You? How did this happen? Well, I've been trying to do more customer outreach. I went to a seminar being held by this consulting firm. The first course was free. Uh huh. Well, they taught us about SMS communications and the like. Recommended sending messages of thanks to customers. They even offered us advice on how to word them, ways that would entice clients to return. If you keep a register of their names, the software can even put them in automatically. It's handy. Then who is the blonde woman in the icon? Uh, check again, sir. That's me. What? That's you? Sure. The consulting people made it. Isn't this technology impressive? These kinds of avatar pictures are shown to... Entice people to return? What kind of scam is that? This seminar sounds bogus and it nearly got me killed! <gasps> How am I ever gonna explain all this? Ooh, guess I might have gotten you into a bit of hot water. Didn't mean to. Sorry. <laughs> you gotta be kidding me, bartender. Got it. All that trouble from one little text message. Oh, really? Anyway, everything should be smoothed over with people now. No more misunderstandings, all right? Appreciate it. Sorry, Ichiban. It's my fault for jumping to conclusions. I should have believed in you. Uh, don't worry about it. It's over now. Thank you. One thing. Why did Elizabeth and the others all think you were interested in them? Hey, let's just move on from this whole ordeal. Uh, no point living in the past. Now let's see what other adventures are out there. Toby, Adachi-san? Uh, what? This is one adventure you can handle alone. <laughs> Something about you seems different. More confidence, maybe? Well, I notice I get pissed a lot less these days. Oh my god. No point sweating the small stuff, right? Better to keep my chin up and move forward. Can't tell if that's forward thinking or just thick skin. But the man's got a point. It's thick uh, maybe skin. one day I'll learn to tell the cashier when they shortchange me. <laughs> How's that a matter of confidence? Just tell the damn guy. I saw something interesting on TV the other day. They say the average person only lasts for 23 hours in their life. What is happening? Yeah, that little, huh? What is happening? Well, I'm sure it varies from person to person or how it's what? calculated, but still, I was shocked. I don't 
Uh, we laughed what just happened? It shouldn't be more like 23 years. Uh, that's way too much. Right. I'd be laughing myself to death. <laughs> you know, maybe they need to revise that theory for Ichiban specifically. Well, I'm sure we'd all live a little longer if we laughed as much one as One conversation this guy. just rolled into the next one. That was so weird. It's all kicking in now? Oh, okay. Got it. Yeah. So all the sub stories are done. That's it. I have done everything that I can out of Hawaii. So that means tomorrow might actually be the finale stream? Because all we're doing is plot at this point. When we get back to Kiryu, we just have to finish Zhao's drink link, and I think that's it. 